the and then also, in a and also, bit. you know that. Yeah. Um, is that so? Yeah. Hello. Hello. That We're just so catching up, Soko. They're, they're catching me up again because nice. Elden Ring while, while playing, watching was, um, you know. Anyways, yeah, no, that's fair. Understandable. Understandable. <laughs> oh, it ended where we're currently split up. So you, me, and Alazrin and Onu are outside the city and doing our around. No, and no, Siren's, Siren's in the city. city. And then the city, Siren yeah. and Dapian are hand. together. And then yeah, Kess oh, and you. Brooks are together yeah. in so the city. So last oh, week, uh, I'll, I'll get to the recap. But last week, okay. uh, we did one half Kobe, of the yeah. uh, stuff that was supposed yeah. to happen in the city. The other half we have to do now. Yeah. Hey, everybody. Hi. Hello. We're back. Game over. We're here. Gang's all here. It's Sunday. Welcome to Dungeon Select. Hello. Fuck. Hi. It's a Sunday. <laughs> it's a Sunday. Can we get... Hold on. Can we oh. get, like, a voice recording of Kaza saying that? She does really say it like that as well. It's fucking funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, like, like, you know, we play D&D on a Sunday. Be fitting. Oh, fuck. That's the transition sound from the starting soon screen into yeah. the screen with all of us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just threw G Fuel on my desk. Mm -mm, Good job. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Dude, imagine playing Elden Ring and getting so mad you break the fucking G Fuel cap, actually. That wasn't to do with how mad I was. That was to do with how <laughs> shit the G Fuel cap uh -huh, is, man. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Dude, we've Dude, all broken uh, things while playing Souls games, all right? It's happened. Dutch fine, I just threw it at fucking... Dude, I've I broken a mouse. A and this thing, motherfucker, is sturdy as shit, dude. Listen. You go to open the G Fuel, and it, there was no, unlike my weenus, there's no flexi in the G Fuel lid, okay? <laughs> my it just pops. It's not got the flexi. So it's, <laughs> it, was, it was brittle, and I got to open it, and it just snapped clean off, okay? Uh -huh. Thanks, Margit. Margit. Yep. <laughs> there goes our G Fuel boss, boss, actually. I loved Margit. It's think a great was... fight. It's actually, cunt. technically not G Fuel, because it's the Lime Pro. No game spoilers, and... please. I finally Shaken. caved. Did you buy it? I finally came yes. and shit did. Let's go. By the way, yeah, I installed it while I was out. <laughs> no spoilers. You've watched so much of my stream, I feel like, Ethan. <laughs> yeah, but I don't pay attention to your so streams go. or anything. Next time Ring, set up a, uh, a group password for it's Dutch Geek without the K because it was too long. But, uh, you know, to, so I can see. Dutch Geek? Yeah, so, oh, so I can see when you, like, die and shit. Smile. Because what it does is, okay. like, it highlights. Blood yep. I'm in another group too, so I, I, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, you can set the a time, I think. Yeah. Anyway, we're here. Hello. Hi. I'm a little sick. I'm a little, hey. uh, a little sniffly. Oh, the cooties. Uh, we'll survive. I got cooties. I got cooties. Uh, no Ronies, though. I tested negative this morning, so we're good. Chilling. Oh. It's just, it's just a cold. Smell. Just cooties. Just cooties. I got the clap. Um, <laughs> anyway. You caught an English cold. Oh, I did. <laughs> I really did. That's why I hate British people, man. True. All right. Anyway. Anyway. Why the three of them here? Four of them. Fuck. Four of them. Yeah. Wait. Hold on. When, when you said three, who weren't you counting as British Bell. or English? Just <laughs> well, I don't know. No, no. You mean Beth? Follow you, Bethlehem. Yeah. Really? What do I? What do you? I can't ask. Just an regionless Nicola. entity. Yeah. You're oh only God. what is it? Three fifths of a English person. Three fifths. <laughs> How I don't do you know, get, what's the wage gap How do you nowadays? get, hold on, how does a family oh tree ever get to odd numbers? <laughs> it was a joke about gender. Yeah, pay anyways, gap, anyways. Okay. anyways. Oh, that's pretty funny, huh? We all laughed. I mean, you're a toilet, you just find it hilarious. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> It's true. <laughs> it's pretty funny. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, hey guys, Dungeon Select. Um, I'll start oh. off with an announcement. Oh. It's March. And Woo! together with Yo, the it's Mark. community. Woo! Oh, yeah. Happy belated birthday to both Belle and Duke. And happy, happy early birthday. birthday to Laura. Dude, I happy saw it written down that I was 25 today, and it made me very upset. <laughs> <laughs> you won't even Bro. talk to me about being upset at your new age. Uh, okay. <laughs> Laura, when is your, when's your birthday again? Like, what tomorrow. 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 Oh, I it's today. Shit. No, it's tomorrow. So many. Laura, do you want to tell everyone how old you're going to be tomorrow? <laughs> well, come to my stream and find out because I'm doing a lot She's of be silly bullshit around again. the whole numbers again. specifically. 25 again. 25 again. 25 again. 25 for the fifth since time. Since we met. Here. This is, this is part of tomorrow's stream for a reason. <laughs> That's all I'm going to tell you. Nice. She's turning Amazing. 60, boys. Let's go. Somewhere <laughs> has a very niche kink. Dutch, can you believe? I think I was 19 when we met. That's crazy, huh? I so I think I might have been the same when I met you guys. Man, yeah, that's crazy. I was 18 when we started this. Yep. 
You're so young, Ooh. actually. Belle's a fucking... You're a baby. Wait, she barely graduated high school, guys. 21? No, wow, wow, baby. I've been God. 21, yeah. 20. All right, so yeah, we've the, the, March is always like just half the fucking cast has their birthday in March, pretty much. It's fucking wild. So we had <laughs> Belle and Duke, who not only share a month, but share the fucking day. A just, day. Yeah, we have just yeah. as many June birthdays, too. What the fuck? Do we? Yeah, we have three April birthdays in June. Oh, am I the You're the only one that doesn't have like the... That's like the odd one out with April. Yep. 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 Yeah. It's Pog. It's my birthday next Soko's month. Soko's is like the first week What is it, April 7th, June, I think? Six. No. Soko... No idea, dude. Soko's is like April June 6th. 3rd, right? June 2nd or June 3rd. Just say it's know, March dude. the 37th. True. Done. June 2nd. <laughs> and me and, Koiba, me and Koiba are a day apart. Huh? <sighs> but um, anyway, it's March. Um, we're doing... A month-long charity fundraiser with the level select community which we are obviously Ooh. all a part of uh, this time we're raising money for rad there's a panel down under the video player that you can click if you want to donate there's a bunch of commands exclamation mark charity exclamation mark rad exclamation mark donate if you want more information about the charity um we're not doing any like wacky donations for charity equals things happen in game um because we don't have the overlay set up for that but there will be some charity related streams happening over the course of the next few weeks uh, where that will happen, including a custom made by me Witcher one shot, which is going to be fucking cool. Oh, sick. Uh, and some other things as well. <clears throat> so that, that, that's my announcement. Anyone else have anything they want to? Yeah. Uh, as as we mentioned, because tomorrow's my birthday, I'm doing a I'm so calling eight plus hour birthday streams. I don't want to commit to the twelve, given how my body has been behaving recently. But it's going to be a long stream regardless. And to go with the whole Laura's old now. Laura's a grandma by Twitch standards. We're playing one of the first games I ever played. We're playing a game almost as old as I am. We're going to be playing Banjo Kazooie on stream Good tomorrow. <laughs> so True. come hang out and I'm still raising money for charity and I'm gonna have a whole new look to match my age for tomorrow is all I'm gonna say so hell yeah, hell yeah. Have, gonna be fun That's oh awesome. and it'll be from my brand new PC because I have a new computer Ooh, new so computer? obviously tomorrow will not be showcasing the capabilities of it per se because I'm playing a game from 1990 whatever but future <laughs> streams are gonna be looking real good hell because yeah. of hell the new yeah. PC Laura are you gonna be playing the um Elden Ring no. The Blood no. Hunt uh, the, 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 the PC like the pl play test this month? If I if I can, absolutely. Has it? Have they renounced the actual date yet? Uh, I... uh, somewhere somewhere this month. I'm not sure exactly. Yeah, because all they said was later this month. I haven't it's heard of. It's gonna be two days. Probably like the last. And week. everyone that has made an account and hasn't gotten banned during the previous play test will have access to. Yeah, Shit, the latest. The then. last tweet they tweeted. Um, uh, on February 25th, the closed PC pay test. The PC playtest will be happening mid-March, still working on locking down the exact date. So they haven't shared, but yeah, so, fucking so absolutely. And I can finally stream Blood Hunt at more than 30 FPS because of the new Pog? PC. Did you, <laughs> did you figure it out? Your, grab your capture card? Did you finally oh, fix? Oh, that. yeah. So Laura's not a big dumb. I'm a small dumb. Is what I'm gonna say for the right. capture card thing. So it wasn't the fact that I, this whole time, have had it plugged into the wrong USB port where that makes it work faster. I just was telling everyone I had the wrong capture card. I do not have the 60S. I just have the 60, right. which is too old to yes. actually have to use the faster USB port. So it's yes. plugged into the right port, but it's the older capture card. So I couldn't make it go faster or have remove the delay right. if I wanted to. So mm. now that new PC has been purchased, the next thing I'm saving for is an internal capture card to add to it. I, yeah, that I, was just I outside of budget for now. Internal but. capture card, the Avermedia C9 85 or yeah. some shit yep. literally like six seven maybe even eight years old and it's, it works like a fucking charm still but yeah so next PS5 for in, just fine no issues in a few months probably i uh, i'll have enough for because i the pc with everything cost like full budget was spent on pc and monitors so mm -hmm. now because i also am using like almost 10 year old monitors right now and that's also going to change so <laughs> oh, big new uh, set of upgrades let's go yeah so the next thing will be the capture card anyways i'm done now good Sorry, shit took too long all right. Um, as far as anything else, uh, tomorrow we'll be playing Divinity, I'm assuming, boyish. Yeah. Beautiful. Uh, this Thursday we'll be having this course. There will not be a Dungeon Select next Sunday because my grandparents have their 60 uh, year anniversary. Together. Boo! And uh, they celebrating it on <laughs> Sunday. So like, it was either play D&D or have dinner with them and celebrate the fact that they somehow have not gotten a divorce in over 60 years. You know? <laughs> Couldn't be me, dude. <laughs> so, uh, sadly, no D&D &D next week, but there'll be 
plenty of extra like charity streams on this channel anyway to make up for the lack of one Sunday stream. So we're, we're fine. We're chilling. We're good. We're good. We're good. I'll be um, in Florida next Monday. <laughs> True. My boy. My boy. True. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Holy shit. Crazy. Yeah. So, with that said, last we left off, you guys made it to New Daramuth after facing off with a devil type of devil um, bounty hunter which you uh, bested but did not kill. He, he managed to get away um, hired by the Nightwebs, the organization that is hunting Lazarin down. Uh, you also then got a visit by a Cambion uh, with the name Zodin who had a lot of information on um, the Nightwebs and information regarding Lazarin's family and the uh, safety of them or lack thereof. He tried to make a deal with you. You guys managed to convince him to, instead of making a deal with the devil, you are now more along the lines of collaborating with the devil since you have a mutual enemy. Which is, I guess, a little step up over, you know, owing a devil a favor. Instead, you know, you're helping each other out. And it's not quite as good a song title. Co collaborating with the devil, <laughs> not yeah, hey, yeah. owing the devil a favor. Exactly, sure. exactly. Should have um, danced with them. When you reach New Daramuth, the Scooby Gang split up. Two went to go find the Steed to deal with the whole missing ore shipment situation, and also gathered some information on a potential um, hideout belonging to the Nightwebs in New Daramuth. Uh, and two of you are out and about to meet with an elderly uh, Sir Oliver, who uh, you learned lives in some kind of like nursing home type situation where he's basically super old and can no longer wipe his own butt, so he has people taking care of him and doing that for him, kind of thing. Uh, so last we left off, we dealt with the uh, Steed half of the activities in New Daramuth. So we're going to pick today up with the Sir Oliver half. So with that said, Davian and uh, accompanied by, by Siren, you're and about. You, I believe you've got given a direction of like where this, this, this home was. Um, what do you want to do? I mean, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Nice. Uh, I mean, I guess we're just, we're just walking. Yeah. Um, just vibing. Take it in the sights of the lovely new Daramuth. Keeping a, city a keen not eye quite out. As big as Aldilon, but definitely um, a bigger, a bigger city. Um, lots of people everywhere. Even at this like, right now, it's it's early evening, and it's still now, like around this time of day, a lot of hustle and bustle. Uh, you see people. You walk past a few squares where there were like some kind of like markets uh, throughout the day. And you see people slowly like t breaking down their carts or breaking down their stands, and uh, and a lot of the storefronts that you walk past will have like stands outside that they're breaking breaking down and, and then moving it back into the store uh, properly to end their day. Um, Siren will kind of look, kind of looks at you. So. Any idea what you're going to ask him? Well, um... I just want to know about the Triton, really. Anything that he didn't really write in his book. How to get, you know, how to interact with them. Are they nice? Some of, this, some of the things he did write in his book, but I suppose it wouldn't hurt to know a touch more. I suppose so. How, I suppose. Did, how did he breathe underwater to begin with? Because... I know he mentioned that they have, they make the potions, but if they just came up to say hello, I mean, you know, did they invite, mm. did they just bring one up for him, invite him down? Uh, there's, we I just have... want to be prepared for every eventuality, you know, know what to expect. Yeah, I mean, you, the whole water breathing thing, you have this, 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 this mask now, right? Yeah, we're, we're, we're all capable of it, but still, still strange to me that he, just, it, you know, was invited down there, I suppose, and, and how did he deal with it? I'm, I'm glad that we, we've got a solution ourselves. Maybe he was just, just very charismatic, I don't know. Managed to convince them. Oh, maybe the Triton had other plans for him, but he managed to talk his way out, so... 
I, I mean, know. I don't suppose your your home is is too far from the Triton, right? I don't suppose you ever interacted with them. Um, not personally, but I know my village has an agreement with them. Um, they require certain medicinal herbs and plants found in the jungle, and we um. But they don't have access to that from where they live, and we do, so we trade. We, we, we bring them their medicine, they give us some, you know, freshly caught fish, stuff like that in return. Um, even then, uh, they're not a very talkative bunch from what I hear, but... Um, well, maybe when we get to Sethka, um, maybe Nuxa will be able to share some information. I know he's dealt with them a couple of times. I'll have to pick his brains again. It won't be the first time. I mean, mm. I had to talk to him all about that Hydra and whatnot, so hopefully, you know, I'm sure he won't mind another little mm. uh, interrogation, I suppose. After what you've done for us and our people, I, I'm sure he, would, he wouldn't mind, you know, helping out where he can. As we're walking through, especially this part of the the city, town, is everything orderly? Are there any broken or boarded up windows that look like they've been recently smashed or anything like that? Any more security at shops that there didn't used to be? Make a perception check. Oh, dirty 20. You look around and um, <clears throat> there's a lot of, uh, given that today apparently was like a, some kind of like day-long market kind of situation, a lot of guards around the shopping areas that you walk past. Um, you do also pass through a more rough side of the city, I guess. That's a good way of putting it, where, you know, homeless people... Um, a lot of them kind of like ducked in, like tucked in alleyways and that sort of thing. A couple of um, buildings that look pretty worse for wear. Um, I suppose what I'm specifically looking for is like any evidence that the nightwebs are terrorizing people. You know, like if there's any extortion, if they're sort of trying to improve grow their influence or whatever in the city. For the sake of this, make an insight check. Ooh, okay. Insight, insight. Oh, 22! Dude, my man. Um, as you look around, uh, you definitely see that a couple of the people kind of leaning against buildings or sitting on the streets, um, they look at you like at you and, and, and Siren. And they don't seem at ease. You don't know what could be causing it, but there's definitely they, they don't seem very chill, I guess. Do they seem Oh this I mean with with that insight would I be able to tell if they were Threatened or threatening? What do you mean? Do they look fearful as if we might be Nightwebs about to fuck up their shit? Or do they look as if they might be night like in the employ of the Nightwebs? Are they being vigilant? Are they keeping an well, eye out for- I don't know for... whether or not it's anything to do with the Nightwebs, but you definitely see that some people that look at you kind of like quickly avert their gaze and you know, like, turn turn away. There's definitely also some people looking at you. With... A little bit too much. Yeah. You notice that there's down, a couple of people sorry. that are... I wouldn't say staring at you, but it's getting pretty fucking close. Okay. Interesting. Um... I, I'll, well, I'll, I'll move through. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna say anything. I'm not gonna do anything. I'm just gonna... I maybe speed up a tiny bit and just try and get through without any trouble, I suppose. All right. 
Uh, eventually, unless you want to look at some other stuff, uh, you'll get to uh, a larger house, um, which doesn't really have like a like a nameplate or anything. It just seems like uh, a couple of the houses that were all like attached to each other had their were formed into one structure, kind of. Um, there's a large gated uh, front yard. Um, the gate is uh, like one of the gates has been is like left open. Um, you see a couple of people. Uh, what seems like a tiefling and a human, dressed in like white a white shirt, some some matching white pants, um, standing at the actual front door of the place. Um, you reckon you've 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 you're here. You reckon this is where you uh, where you want to be? Uh, I guess I'll just approach one of the people, sort of standing by. Uh good. Uh, Morning, afternoon, evening, evening. Yes. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, my name's uh, James. I'm I'm here to see uh, Sir Oliver. Is that so? He doesn't get many visitors. Uh, are you family? Uh, no, uh, we've actually never met before. I suppose more of a a fan. And I'll pull out his book. Right, right. Yes, he um. Well, he doesn't really shut up about it, to be honest. So I'm well aware of the book. Haven't read it myself. Is it a is it a good read? Um, I mean, it's it's interesting, I suppose. That the the content, uh, the, you know, the things being documented are, are definitely interesting. Oh. It's not really written like a novel or anything. It's more a journalistic approach, which I, I can admire. And he's definitely a uh, you know. Fair enough. Definitely knows what he's talking about. Um, well, normally, the thing is, normally, um, don't really, well, you know, I wouldn't say, oh, people in his state, we don't tend to allow visitors that aren't directly related, but, um, he hasn't had a visitor in a while, and it's, it's I quite like him, so, uh, if you promise not to, upset him or anything, I'll uh, show you where he's staying. I mean, I'm definitely not intending to upset him, so I'll, I'll do my very best, I suppose. I'm trying to reach the die that I... While well, you right. do that, I'm going to grab my dice tray. Um, follow me, then. Look at this man, doesn't even have his dice tray out for D&D. &D. No, I've been rolling my bare-ass desk, but it's been rolling like 20-plus each time, so... That's true, that's true, that's true. Can't be mad about it. And uh, you walk inside, and Sirin also accompanies you, and... You can definitely tell that these were once, like, separate houses, but because they were, like, attached to each other, they just knocked, like, the, the, uh, the internal walls out that separated them to make, like, one larger structure. Uh, there's somewhat of a front desk kind of made, kind of, like... Put in, put in front of the door. You can see a, a small dwarf um, kind of sitting behind it, uh, writing, writing some stuff down in some kind of document. Um, and the doctor um, guides you. You going up, you go upstairs, and just walks with you till you get to a door, and you can uh, kind of you see you look at him, and he looks at you. That's one thing you should know about uh, Sir Oliver is that. Um, You've caught him on an okay day, but uh, due to his age, sadly, he, um... There's certain things that kind of trigger a pretty... reaction of, of extreme confusion. He's not really sure anymore. I guess what of his stories was real and which ones were, you know, just... In his mind, he um, is getting a bit senile, a little bit. Um, so just be careful, and if you need anything, or he starts having a bit of an episode, I'll be right outside the door, okay? All right, well, uh, wish his luck, I suppose. Like I said, you've caught him on a, on a good day, but then again, he hasn't had visitors in a while, so I'm not sure how he'd react. I guess I'll, uh, guess I'll push open the door and, and head in. Yeah, and as you head in, um, the room 
it's quite nice. Uh, pretty, pretty like big. It's definitely not like he's cramped in there or there's a, there's a lack of space. He has like its own like personal fireplace. There's a desk with def like papers kind of like spread around it. Seemingly, he still, you know, regardless of his brain, uh, I guess, still likes to write. You can see like half written uh, pages uh, of whatever the, it may be. Uh, there's a bit of a, 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 a like a like a reading corner. There's a bookcase with a bunch of books and a nice, very comfy chair, as well as a bed in the opposite corner of that that reading space. And right now, you can see him. He's sitting on that chair by the bookcase, um, just kind of sipping on a on a on a cup of tea. And as you enter, he'll look at you. Jonah, is that you? Did he say Jonah? Yeah. Oh, is there any mention of a Jonah in the book that? I no. No, uh, no. Oh, uh, sorry, but my name's. I mistook you for my, my name's... son for a second. <clears throat> oh, my name's you... James. James, right, of course, yes. of course. Uh, um, what, what, are you lost? No, I, I'm actually, I'm actually a fan of yours. Uh, you are. I'll, I'll pull, out, pull out the book and show him. Yeah, I, I've got a very vested interest in this one in particular. The, uh... Do you now? That's great. That's good to hear. It's always... I don't get many visitors, and especially people that, you know, read my my work. It's, 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 that's quite humbling. Well, as a fellow fellow countryman and uh, somewhat of an explorer myself, it only makes sense. Oh, so, like, you know, new generation of sorts, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, of course, and following in your footsteps and maybe hoping to go... Further beyond into the into the continent than than many have gone before. I mean, how now is as good a time as any. It's just pretty much the entire continent is still unexplored. As far as we are, I would like at least. I would like to s start with the uh, Lake Udina. Lake Udina. It, Udina it, you've Lake well, you've written about here the with the, with the, the Triton of the Lake. <gasps> right, right. The people that live in the water. Right. Yes. Exactly. Yes. 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 And he'll start such like kind of, you can see his like his eyes were constantly like looking at you. And they kind of dart off to the side and he just starts kind of like like just whispering in this like Do you speak dwarfish? Yes. Okay. What you hear and, and catch from from he suddenly swapped the dwarfish and and stop looking at you. But you catch like some ramblings about um Should I tell them about the beast of the water? Kind of just asking him itself that question constantly, just like repeatedly. Oh. And he does that for like he does that for like ten seconds, and then he kind of like you can see he's like he like shakes his head and he kind of like snaps out of it and looks back at you. Um, so what do you want to know about Lake Rodina? I'm gonna look him dead in the eyes, and I'm gonna say, "Well, first thing I'd like like to know about," and then I will say in Dwarvish. Is the well, beast of the water. Power play. Oh. How did you know about the beast in the water? Um, uh, some other uh, writings that I, I sort of looked up in the library when I was perusing your own work uh, mentioned it. Well, there's a bit of a bit of a legend. Um, you know, you know, those stories about, for instance, um, you know, You've probably heard of the story of this, this like, cursed satyr who, around the Winter's Veil, comes to our realm and, and, and puts naughty people in his bag to take back home and eat them. It's kind of like yeah, a tale like that. It's like, it's like a boogeyman kind of, kind of tale. Um, folklore to keep people on their best behavior. Um, that, that's, this is just like one of their versions of it, I suppose. Um, I don't know the exact details, but... Um, Supposedly, um, let me think, let me think. Oh boy. Supposedly, it's, uh, this, this, this beast of the lake, um, as old as time itself, and, um, there's a weird connection at the bottom of the lake to, th that connects this plane and the plane beyond, and if, um, 
not if the, the beast feels like the the, the triton of the lake are are, are are not offering him enough um sacrifices well it'll leave this planar gap and and just destroy all the, the entire civilization so it's um but nobody really knows there's no documentation showing whether this beast is real or not it's just like i say it's a, t a tale they tell their is their 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 and like you can see he starts to stammer a little bit and his hands start to starts to shake and he's kind of he's struggling oh so the beast of the lake is a tale that they tell their children but they do they need they need sacrifices what are we talking about uh, Oh yeah, uh, that yeah sounds sounds about right. I, I don't suppose you ever came close to being one of these supposed sacrifices or anything. No, no. Well, it would explain a couple of things that happened back then. No, I'm sure it was fine. The beast of the lake isn't real. There's no way. It's just it's like I said, it's folklore. It's it's here. It's you know, does, ghost stories. Does does it have a name? Um, I don't quite remember. Usli, Usla, Us, Us, Us. It starts with the UNS. I'm not. Definitely a U and an S, not like an iron. It's not a Stisha or something like that. It's something no, else. No, Stisha is, is, you know, just the elemental lord of water. It's completely right. different. Well, I'm just making sure. No, okay. It starts with um, a U and an S. I'm not too. Sh I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. Oh. Wait, was it a U and an S? <laughs> well, regardless, I'm. I'm thinking of venturing down there myself, and Are uh, you? yeah, you know, oh, maybe you meet is, in the tribe. Um, if you wait, why why are you going to the lake? Well, I don't suppose you know anything about the volcano that used to be there. Yes, of course. The Seat of Flame. Right. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm going to the lake. Really? He's a why geologist. Volcano enthusiast. Well, <laughs> they, you know, the... They say that, you know, volcanoes can harvest, can, can harbor particularly rare or valuable minerals and resources that, you know... That, it's just it's true, th yes. there, there could be any any assortment of of bewilderment and gems and and, and treasures down there unknown so i thought you know a, a volcano that's been swamped by a lake should be safe enough to have a little poke around don't you think uh, see that's how i started to want to travel to the, the lake because i heard about this volcano so forgive me if this may seem a bit up front, but would you happen to be looking for a particular, you know, mineral, so to say? Can I, can I like, can I insight check him? Like this feels, and now I'm, ooh. like I, I don't, ooh, I don't even know what I'm trying to read, but just. <laughs> Sinister. Is there anything sinister to his words, or is there a genuine curiosity that maybe he knows about Kasuth? Or does it seem make like an, maybe he's looking for someone check. who's looking for Kasuth? Make an insight check. Oh, dirty 20. No, yeah. wait, that might even be a 21. It's a 21. I like look at you, and like his hands start to shake a bit. But I was sent um, to the lake. I, I had this vision, you see, of, of fire and, uh, well, I went and I, I talked to the, 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 the Triton and, um, well, they hurt me out to a certain degree, but um, when I actually got to the volcano, well, and he'll, like, you've seen him, like, he's wearing this, like, long sleeve shirt, and he'll, he'll reveal his arm, and you can see his arm is covered 
in in like burns, burn marks, and just Ooh. like eighty percent of his arm is just scar okay. tissue from burns. Let's just say it didn't go so well. You said you're familiar with uh, Stisha. Yes. I don't suppose the name Kosuth means anything to you. And like he'll start to like fiddle with his hand, like he's like fiddling his hand and and stammering once again. And you're then after a few again. seconds, kind of like snaps out of it. Yes, I. Yes. Yes. Was does that have anything to do with the particular mineral that you're looking for? Yes, you're looking for his tears, correct? Oh. Yes. Did you know that the sense, Triton have it? I could sense something of some, some, some something familiar. And you entered the room. Wouldn't happen to have one in your possession already. Well, I don't suppose that's how you got the bones, is it? No, 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 no. Um, the bones were when I, well, you know, didn't write about this at all because it wasn't a very jolly tale, but um, I entered the volcano, the seat of flame. Um, and. Well, let's just say that uh, be very careful because there's a lot of extremely hot air trapped within the volcano and I took a wrong step and, well, nearly cost me my arm. Right. I don't have any of these tears, but I heard that the Triton do. That's what I heard as well, which is why I went. Um... Any merit to that? Mm, well, I'm sure you're aware of, of, of you know, the tear being in the volcano and Estisha kind of guarding it, uh, making sure nobody steals it, right? Just to be well, a bit of a prick to Kasuf. That's the tale I got told when traveling there. You should seek out, if you manage to find the Triton, they reveal themselves to you. Seek out Ferigi. It's uh, a woman, a Triton woman, um, the tribe's healer, or at least when I went. Um, she doesn't quite agree with her duty towards Estisha and hasn't for a while, so if you're looking for people to talk to that will tell you the truth, she's, uh, she's one of those good ones that you should seek out. Sir Oliver, you are simply the best. I try. <laughs> Anything else? Uh, would you like a cup of tea, by the way? I'm sorry, I, I, I didn't even offer you a drink. And, or your, you know, your, your girlfriend or wife? Daughter? Companion, I suppose. Also an explorer and ranger like myself, so... I see, I see, I see. More familiar with the jungle around here than I am, so keeping me alive for the most part. Uh, Siren just kind of like nods and smiles and doesn't really say much. Oh, I will. I'll, I'll take a cup of tea. If yes, that's, have a seat. Uh, have a seat. Uh, both of you. Both. Quite of you. All right. Um. So, you know, um, I have to. I have, I have to ask for my own. My mind hasn't been the same since my failed attempt at, um, you know, retrieving the tear. And it kind of seems that um, the more I think back, my memory kind of go comes and goes about it all. It's almost as if no, couldn't be, couldn't be. Never, never mind, never mind. Well, I'm, 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 I'm all ears if if you're trying to make sense of it all. I feel like I haven't been the same since I left Legodina. And especially the last few years, I've done a lot of self-reflecting about it all. And every time I try to remember some more details of what happened, I... It's one of the reasons why I'm here, because when I told people, they thought I, you know, I'm going 
I'm going senile, you know, forgetful. But in truth, I... I think something is making me forget. I don't like the sound. I don't like the sound of that at all. <laughs> uh, do you think it, some something that happened at the volcano, something to do with the Triton? Maybe you see, my memory is quite vivid of, of of that entire trip, but for some reason, last I remember is being inside a volcano, having the incident with my arm, and then. Suddenly, there's just a two-week gap missing. Woke up on the shore of the lake, with all my belongings intact and my arm treated. Not a triton in sight. Nothing. And then when looking at, um, you know, I, I'm pretty keen-minded, or used to be, it seemed that uh, there's just a two-week gap missing, and no matter how hard I try to remember and write things down, I... I... Um... Uh, I... 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 Uh... All right, all right, don't... don't push yourself, don't push yourself. It's just... You can't remember, you can't remember. It's just, I remember everything. The people... the people I've met, uh, you know, their the leader, Kuzus, uh, Nudolnath, Fair he was very useful. Um and, and there's just this one two week gap that I just cannot explain and it's it's bothering me. Even the moment you wake up or woke up, I should say, you had no memory of it, just Nothing. Arm burn, woke up two weeks later, that's it. No, you couldn't Armbert have written anything down. Woke up two weeks later with my arm treated, or as well, you know, as well as it could have been treated. And I even went back into the lake, tried to talk to the Triton, but something changed. They acted like they didn't know me, as if it was our first time meeting. But I could tell something was off, because I went to look for that healer, Fairy. Even though she tried to pretend not to know me, I could see it in Rise that she did. So I'm, I'm not too sure whether that was Estisha's doing or, or maybe their leader Kuzus. Uh, I don't know, but it seems that um, I got too close to, you know, potentially finding the tear and instead of killing me or whatever they just played me a fool but the thing is i don't remember anything from those two weeks and i couldn't ask them because they were acting like they didn't know me and it's very frustrating perhaps they didn't like you poking around in the seat of flame and and that was that maybe if, just, if we happen upon something. any evidence of your time there that might help, we'll be sure to bring it back to you. I would appreciate that. If, well, I don't know if I intend on setting foot in the volcano myself, but maybe there's something you left down there that would help you remember. And he, like, stares at his bookcase, starts muttering in dwarvish again. Uh, and this time, it sounds more like, you know, almost like ravings of a madman. Like, just in Dwarvish, constantly repeating, I'm not crazy, I, I'm not crazy, I know something is wrong, I'm not crazy, I'm not crazy. And then he, like, blinks, Can looks I see... at you. He, like, blinks, looks at you. Jonah, is that you? Was there any way to tell if he was looking at a specific book when he was looking at the bookcase? Uh, make a perception check. Got 15. You're not sure. It seemed more like a blank stare to you. Blank stare, no, nothing, nothing important. Jonah. Is that... James. J James. Right. Um. I was just on my way out. 
But I, I do hope you're doing well, yes, Sir I'm, Oliver. I'm fine. I'm all right. And um, hopefully see you again soon. And I'll, I'll stand up. And uh, it's just sort of giving a little, little nod, little bow, and uh, take my leave, I suppose. Bye. Bye for now. And you can see him as he like, he like watches you leave. You can see his arm just constantly, like he's, he's constantly just like rubbing his hand, and like his arm is shaking a bit. So he, he seems rattled. Yeah. With that, uh, yeah, I'll just quietly walk back towards, well, wherever the post office is. Siren will kind of look at you. That was something, wasn't it? I don't even want to think about it right now. We've got to find a post office. elijah has got a letter to send, and I suppose I should write something back to my parents as well. Because if I come back from Lake Udina like that, uh, probably going to need See, the someone to look after is, me. You know, how much of that do you think is real, and how much do you think is actually you know, his mind playing tricks on him? I believe all of it. You do? Until I've reason not to, I think it's best course of action is to take everything he said as gospel, because... He seems to have the same mission I do right now, and, uh... Yes, okay. I just, you know, Well, if you, if you simply look at what he's written in the book, it's a completely different man to who we saw today. And if he, cl if he claims that he... It was after Lake Udina that everything changed, then, you know, if he can go from this to that, then I could go from this... To that, so we, we'll best proceed with caution. But yes, I, suppose... we'll, I think we're better equipped than he was. I believe it was Estisha, one hundred percent. Yeah, it makes sense because he said that um, this woman, Fair Ye, right? Yeah, wasn't that big of a fan of Estisha, it seems, and even when pretending not to know him saw something in her eyes so even what he said about this beast of the lake seems like something it's it's Stisha would have made up to keep the triton fearful maybe easier to you know maybe he's trying to keep people out of you know a part of the lake well, absolutely. There's a fucking volcano there with treasure in it that he doesn't want anyone getting their hands on. So, I, I, I that's why I believe everything he said. That's that's yeah, fair, fair. All right. So, post office, and then we're meeting with the gang. What post office, meet? meet with the gang. Yep. Wait, are we supposed to meet with um, Tweedle D and Tweedle. D I heard that in Eldilon. Uh, Tweedle D and Tweedle Dum. That we split up with, or we, we meet them at the cart, or at the, the other side of the city? We'll meet them on the other side, I think. Am I using that right, Tweedledee and Tweedledum? Absolutely, yes. Perfectly. Without a doubt. That's Honestly, I think they, they call themselves that, so... <laughs> you should keep that up. Right, post office. And I'm going to also scratch down a little letter for my mes parents. Okay. Uh, which, I don't know, I'll DM it to you at some point. Yeah, sounds good. But when we get to the post office, mm -hmm. I need to, to make uh, sure... Well, it's, not really, it's not really a post office, is it more, it's more like... Um, um, it's this tower where there's a bunch of... Uh, holes for all kinds of different uh, uh, feathered creatures to just come and go little like containers strapped to their either their 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 leg or or just like around their neck um it's very very much like messenger towery anyone anyone manning a desk any magical poofs of light as as there's things are teleported there's also a couple of magical poofs of light yeah um as you enter right. there is a uh, human man, like like early thirties, late twenties, like kind of that age. Uh, 
it's um, Gap, I guess. Uh, you wearing just some common clothes, but wearing around his neck um, uh, an emblem that shows that he uh, he works at the messenger tower. Uh, as you walk in, he'll uh, nod at you. Good evening. Smell of the evening. Oh, I've got two letters. One for <laughs> Faber's footing and one for the Goodwind Kingdom. All right. Um, any of them, you know, particularly rushed or... Goodwind extradited as much as possible. Um, see. Did I say extradited? I meant expedited. Yeah, I, I got what you meant. Don't worry. Yeah. Um, for the it's not, it's it's not it's being just a tried it's a, it's for anything. It's a parcel. It's a letter. Just a letter. Yeah. All right. Um, I can get that letter to where it needs to be in the Goodwin Kingdom in about a day's time. Um, for about fifteen gold pieces. I will place the letter on the desk and fifteen gold pieces stacked on top. How about the one for Fabro's footing? Is that also post haste or? No, that's no worries about that one. Just All right, so that second glass, or whatever. You know. Get there. Out. I don't know. It'll it'll leave immediately. It'll be it'll be there. I don't know, like a week from now, give or take. Um, if you know if the wind's favorable, depending on, you know. Well, um, it should be about a week. Take. Perfect. Uh, How that'll much? Be, that'll be uh, five silver. Postage. All right, so fifteen gold and five silver. Thank I believe Lazarus gave me fifty gold last week that I forgot to add to my inventory. I did give you fifty-five silver. Yeah, and five silver. Yes. <laughs> all right. Anything else I can do for you? No, that's that's all for me. Unless Siren, you've got something you want to send anywhere? No, I'm on my way home. So. Don't really know I don't think they have a mailbox. Else, so. You've got a postcode out in uh, the jungle. <laughs> What's a postcode? J-U. <laughs> J-U. J-U-1. J-U-1. <laughs> oh, no, that's some bad juju. What's the address, though? Yes, one J-U. Uh, one jungle lane. I also live at, wow, I live at one jungle lane and one jungle, jungle avenue. <laughs> right, anyway, jungle anything uh, else I could do for you? <laughs> nope, that's everything. Thanks. Right, uh, have a good yeah. evening. Have a good evening. What was that? You said uh, yeah. smell of the evening? <sighs> yeah, you know, when you. Every time of day, sort of has a smell. It's it? it's some, something from. It's a ranger thing. <clears throat> Because so like, look at you and just like. <laughs> well, when you when you don't have a clock, you know you might. It's easy to tell if it's before or afternoon, but you know, and you know, if it's you know thickly, thick canopy overhead, you can't see the sun, anything like that. You know, you might. Is that the smell of the morning or is it the smell of the evening? You know. <laughs> Stop trying to make smell of the morning happen. It's not gonna happen. Oh, it's morning as there's a die. dampness. Die. Evening. Die. It will never die. It was no, funny the first thing. 22 times. Now it's will never die. I mean, you would not. Now I'm legitimizing it. Suck on that. that. Yeah, it's a real <laughs> saying. <laughs> right. Um, all right. Well, I, I, sure. I just never heard it before. Is all. I suppose, it, you know, in the city, it? right? It's like morning smells like porridge, evening smells like. Porridge? <laughs> <laughs> I don't mm. think I follow, but that's right. no. Yeah, it's... <laughs> it makes sense. It makes sense elsewhere. Anyway, sure does. take care of yourself, and I'll good, uh, uh, good, turn on my heels and and leave and head for the north side of the city to Alrighty. the gates. Um... Brooks and Kess. Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Why did you sound like you were about to vomit? <laughs> Brooks. <laughs> Brooks. <laughs> Brooks. Um, you guys, you know, you, you, you've done your business talking to uh, the Steed. Is there anything else you're doing in the city before you're heading towards where you yes. 
said to meet with uh, the homies? I changed my disguise while we were at the Steed's house. You did, you did. Uh, I, I put it back on. And then recast it. Yeah. Uh, we're going to go take a casual stroll through the city towards the residential district. Okay. And just have a walk past and see what we see. You know, the particular residential yeah. district that you got told about? Yep. Yeah. The Western Residential District. The one, okay. Okay. Okay, um, choice. <laughs> sure. Kes, like, loops her arm through Brooks. And it's like, so you got an invitation, hmm? I think before we discuss anything else, maybe don't throw out my actual name. Yes, I'm sorry. Cash Belle was high on morphine and didn't remember not to do that. <laughs> who's, who's Belle? <laughs> what the fuck is morphine? <laughs> it's this new street drug. It's a new drug. <laughs> fuck yeah, morphine. Okay. <laughs> anyway. Um, <laughs> do you have a name in mind? In case we get split up at any point? Ooh. Ooh. Use his real name. <laughs> real, real name. For me or for you? This is Ethan for you. <laughs> for me? Not, not that real yeah. name. Janet. <laughs> Janet Jackson. Mm, exactly. Perfect. All right, Janet. <laughs> Janet Jackson. Okay. Okay, Janet. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking hate everyone. You're welcome. And yours will be... <laughs> uh, uh, let's go with... George. <laughs> <laughs> fucking George. <laughs> I was gonna pull, like, a fucking name from my backstory that was gonna have actual meaning to it. How George. do you know mine wasn't? <laughs> Ah, yes. Deep in Kess's Jackson. backstory, yeah. her, her childhood mentor, Janet Jackson. <laughs> Jackson. <laughs> Belle, you're not on morphing this week. Why are you I'm acting not. like a crackhead? I'm hungover. I'm hungover. Oh, my God. No God. lies. You fully were bragging about how unhunghover you were. I, uh, I'm not we hungover. Have the I'm, just, I'm just on one. <laughs> Just right. So, Janet Jackson and George. And George. George. Your main Jackson. <laughs> You're traveling into uh, you know, like through through the city, making a uh, a tour de soleil, as they say, or you know, a uh, little bit of a you know the, the the touristy route to get to where you need to be. The that happens, touristy that happens getaway route. That happens to take you right past the western uh, residential district. Anything you're looking out for in particular? I'm looking out for anyone watching us. Okay. Make a perception check. I'm and looking out. While you do that, I need to know, do you enter the district or are you just like, kind of like, going past it? Is there any like, clear border to the district? Is it like, walled in? Is there guards? No, but it's definitely like, uh, it's, it's clear when the residential area starts. It's pretty obvious. I will leave it up to Cass, but I'm not against going in. Cass is gonna, like, go in. Okay. And just kind of cool. pretend she doesn't notice the difference. Also, okay. 24. 24? Ooh. I'm good at perception. As soon I'm as you not. enter the residential area, you can feel eyes burning in, like, the back of your head. Like, there's... you are being looked at. Yes. From, like, five different directions. Yay. <laughs> Yay. Nice, nice. Nice. I'm I'm assuming I can't see anyone. I can uh, just... yeah. Mm, um, <laughs> make a performance check. Both of us, or? Yeah, because you're, you know, you're like arm in Natural arm. Natural 20! You're arm in nice. arm, like, you know, have it, you know, frolicking in the woods, I guess. I, so I don't want to trust that, that dice set. I'm going to use the Hellboy dice set. I'm I sure got... Natural 19, so oh, 
I okay. got a natural um, 20, so 26. So you're kind of, you know, arm in arm, uh, kind of frolicking through the residential area, just looking around, uh, playing it off, as if you just, you know, as if you're just having, a, you know, a look around. Um, yeah, I mean, you see in various street corners, just people, just like, while they are in conversation with other people, just throwing looks at you all the time. Do... It's not like, and it's not like anyone is like staring you down, but you, you catch looks. Yeah. Do I get any organized crime vibes? <laughs> yeah. What a sentence. Absolutely. I you mean, are, that is the not, sort of vibe. You are vibe. being watched, but you're being watched. You know what I mean? Is it one of those... Okay, so from Brooks's perspective, is it that they are being watched as someone of interest, or is it simply a, this is where we do business, we don't recognize you, we're going to keep an eye on you? The latter, yeah. Okay, that's fine. You um, are strangers that enter an area that is very... Uh, very... Um, Avoided by civilians. Well, not necessarily that, but just Everyone very important to them and their day-to-day, -day, and they don't recognize you, so they are keeping an eye on you. Okay. Um, I f we're not... I assume we're not working, walking with any, like, real, like, logic. We're not don't, going down every street. Yeah, we're just kind of wandering. Do we at any point see what we would recognize to be, like... A symbol of the night webs, for example. Like, Make a perception check. I'm not good at these. <laughs> uh, 18 total. You... Or even just, like, you... someone coming and going in a house that looks out of place. Well, you don't see any, like, brand uh, brandings on houses or anything. But just from, like, watching, looking at the people that pass you by... You catch at least five people that have a tattoo on their shoulder, like that going down. That oh, good. Does this seem? Can we like pinpoint where they're coming, going from, or everywhere? Okay, you get That's the fine. sense that if they have a like one specific place in the in this area, uh, it's very well hidden. But just by the sheer amount of people looking at you, and also just like the handful of tattoos you see, just by people that happen to pass you by. You get the sense that they might control more than just one building in this area. It seems like it's less of a they have a safe house here and more of a the districts in that. They pocket. own the districts. That is the vibe. Okay. Bit, yeah. That's good to know. At which point uh is there anyone that looks like that? I wanna see if I see someone that has the tattoo. Mm -hmm. But doesn't look like they're gonna stab me the moment I walk <laughs> up. <laughs> so you have a lot of experience with that. True. Yes, exactly. Uh, Eleven. Eleven? You see a woman who, um, slightly older, um, uh, uh, like, looks very, like, half-elven to you, you know, has elven, uh, features, but definitely not as, um, obvious as the typical elf would have. Uh, like, ears are pointed, but only slightly, uh, there's like a sheen to her skin, but only ever so slightly. Um, she appears a little older. Um, you're not sure if you had to like pinpoint an age, but like older, experienced. Uh, and she is just kind of like leaning back against uh, a wall, um, having a smoke. And you can definitely tell some kind of tattoo happening here, like. On her, on her, on her left shoulder, left shoulder, right? Yeah, left shoulder. Cool. I will approach her with cats. <laughs> I will smile. What are you looking at? I, I will also smile. <laughs> Hi there. Um, I'm, I'm sorry. We're, we're visiting. Uh, we're, we're, we're visiting family. We're from. To Nilo, but um, I don't know if you know. Would, would you be able to point us to the passerby inn? We were told to meet people there, and I think we're a bit lost. Make a deception check. Uh -oh. A fucking natural 20, baby. Nice! Uh, for a total of 24. Port Danilo? It's uh, you're far away from home. My, uh, my, my, my cousin. My cousin actually lives here. Um, Does he? Apparently, he's what's his name? Paid for, for a room for us at the end. His name? Name. 
<laughs> I'm sorry. I out of character. I I'm laughing out of character for the specific reason that the first thing that came to my head was Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> my name's Jeff. Name is Jeff. Okay. My name's Jeff. So? Anyway. So, in character, I will say his name's uh, Ilthos. He's, hey. he's he, Ilthos. He uh, he moved here two months ago now. To her. I think about then. It was it was <sighs> definitely before Jumas. I haven't heard of him. Um, all right, well, Passerby Inn is uh, that way, and she kind of like points down the streets. Just follow this road until you leave the district, and then take a right. Perfect, wonderful. Thank you very no much. Um, if if you been at any point, I'll be sure to buy you a drink. As thanks. Oh. And I will head off in that direction. <laughs> All right. So with that, and then uh, we will leave the city. <laughs> sounds good. Sounds good. Okay. Uh, we'll say for the. I I'm gonna hazard a guess and say that you two will arrive at the you know at the location where you uh, where you said you would meet up a little before Davin and Siren do, but eventually you all meet up and um, the gang is all together again. What do you guys do? I uh, a pet Onu. I <laughs> Onu's with us. Onu's outside yeah, the city. Yeah, well, just I thought we were all meeting up. Oh, yeah, I, thought you, up, meant, I up, thought you meant the four. Up. Like the four I... in. Everybody. You didn't ask us if we wanted to do any super important RP skirting the city. Yeah. How dare oh, I'm you? Sorry, I'm sorry. Did you Well, I mean, I don't because I can't talk, but they might. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Jax, Jax has been told about. I mean, I, I'm sure Jax has lots of opinions. Yeah. <laughs> it's up to Jax. Jax has oh, nothing yeah, yeah. to say at this so, time. Yeah, well, I was going to... Soka, you kind of missed it. No we comment. learned that Elazarin is only in a religion for money. I know. <laughs> it just seems pretty, like... You're, like Boy, there is, however... Like, I was right. I know. How, I, have, I have nothing to say about it. There how is, dark... however, no Electrum in his religion. Yeah. 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 No Electrum? Yeah. I'm out, dude. Yeah. Right. How dark does it get when we're walking... Yeah, because it's going to be quite a bit long walk, because I'd rather take longer to walk to the yeah, location. Yeah, like, you'll, by the time you get to where you want to be, cool. it'll be, it'll be like, it's sunset, yeah. moon's up. I would, um, I would have eyes at night, um, the two that are with me, okay. um, so they got the 300 foot dark vision, just in case. Okay. Um, Sorry. but obviously, we're fucking cutting ahead, so it doesn't matter, but still doing it anyway, for that mm -hmm. last hour. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. okay. Well, that was something. Hmm. Did you go well? Good Did news, you... bad news. Okay. <laughs> we know where we can't go in the in the residential district because of the night webs. Okay. The bad news is that it's everywhere in the residential district because of the night webs. <laughs> not gonna lie, I've got eyes on me fucking everywhere. Well, uh, so we're not doing. coming back. I would. I. It's probably a bad mm. idea to ever go into this city without a disguise. Absolutely. Oh, that reminds me. I need to wash my fucking hair. I have oh, to yeah, make some shit up. I. So, I mean, yeah. I look like fucking half orc right now. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, uh, I guess we're on foot from here on out. But seriously, gonna lead the way. I assume into the jungle. Yes, of course. What time of day is it right now? How long? Uh, late. They only... Like late evening. It's evening. Well, are we? Are we? Are we? I'll sign to Kess. Are we walking through the night, or because we don't want to um, camp here? Are we? Are we continuing on for a ways before we camping? Probably yeah, we probably should. For right? about I would an hour rather so. not be near the city. I got some very sketchy. I, I figured. Um, yeah. Might be good to. You know, not be within vision okay. of the city. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay. Um, Put we, it this we've way. We've got a couple of hours before. I don't know, we should. Um, Don't your mother smell, anyway. I he keeps going so on much. about this, this smell of the evening thing, and I don't quite get it. But... <sighs> Let's I... just get, make it, you know, 
into the tree line of the jungle, but hopefully not deep enough that we'll need fucking jungle remedy. I... Yeah, I would like to just not be near the city. Uh... Well, you have plenty of remedy, right? It, you know, there's no harm in... Yeah, sticking. but, you know, the less we use now, the more we'll have for uh, other times. <coughs> that is, yeah, correct, I suppose. Yeah. Um, correct. All right. Well, want to just follow me then? Yeah. And while we're walking, I'm going to uh, initiate a conversation with Kess in sign language, obviously just asking how the meeting with the steed went and everything okay? Uh, it was interesting. Also, tell her to reply before I yeah, yeah, yeah. tell her I, to reply I'm, in sign language. <laughs> I'm replying in sign language. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Inter that's like interesting. Good or interesting? We gotta watch our backs. In or interesting, we're, we were kicked out. <laughs> None of the above. Um, I'm pretty sure okay. folks will want to talk about it with you as well. So... <laughs> wait until we have a moment alone. Okay. But as long as you don't you don't feel we're in any imminent risk more so than normal, I guess that's fine. <laughs> we aren't. Brooks oh, might be. Okay. I could I okay. Good to know. <laughs> and we'll just keep walking. <laughs> they either want him dead or recruited well obviously one of those is much preferable than the other so hopefully it works out yeah hopefully we don't have dead. to deal with him anymore okay that's not where i was going with that <laughs> 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 <I'm dead. laughs> thank god what do you mean i just kes just said you want you dead i just defended what do you mean how dare you anyway <laughs> <clears throat> all right after that, I'm sure, I'm sure the group's just watching us sign to each other. I'm just gonna like tap Brooks on the shoulder and just give a thumbs up <laughs> with no context for him knowing. <laughs> Was that whole conversation about <laughs> in the city? I nod, yes. Only vaguely. Only vaguely. That fills me with so much confidence. Okay. <laughs> Would I will rather sign I just spoke in thank clear you terms? to Daikin. Uh, probably not, but, you know, That's we've got bigger priorities at the moment. Oh, Eladrin, your, uh, message is on the way. Should be there tomorrow. Oh, that's fantastic news. Thank you. And I will give him a 30 gold. No. Oh, cheers. Yeah, well, she changed. <laughs> and I'm gonna then tap Davian on the shoulder and then just oh. do like thumb up, thumb down, like a maybe, and then this gesture, like questioning gesture. <laughs> we'll, we'll talk about it when we're, you know, on okay. the way. I will just nod. Uh, and you're walking for about like 30 minutes. And uh, it got, it's getting colder and colder, and you just hear this very loud thunder crackle, and it just starts pissing it down. Nah. Very hey. intense, hard rainfall. Oh, to the God. point where oh. Siren kind of like looks at you, and we should find shelter. This is. Um, you know what would be good right now? A freaking dome. <laughs> I don't know if the dome stops rain. <clears throat> or a mansion, you know? Or a magical mansion. <laughs> or a mansion. We, just, we yeah. just find a mansion in the jungle. In the jungle. Okay. Completely and, empty. And, and, and Siren kind of starts booking it, and like, it take, only takes a few minutes, so and you guys are drenched in water, to the point where your travel will be classed as difficult terrain, because you're, you're caught oh. in just a... A fucking monsoon at this point. Oh, she leaves a tent in the cart. Do, does Siren have a favored terrain, and therefore <laughs> it's fine? The jungle is Siren's favorite terrain. Yeah. So do we not travel? Yeah. Doesn't that mean we'll still terrain? be traveling normal speed? Uh, only just Siren. Siren. Just not Siren. Not us. Yeah. Are you sure? She'll abandon yeah. us. She'll just yeah, ditch I'm pretty us. sure. They get so high but, levels. Uh, she, well. she travels at your at your pace, uh, and eventually, uh, about an nice. hour later, you guys kind of find this like 
body of water and with with like this big rock face rock wa rock wall with like this big waterfall just like thun just thundering down no no it difficult is your terrain group. doesn't slow your group's travel and you can't be lost except by go. magical okay, means okay never mind uh, syrian's way better than fucking davian there you go <laughs> uh, like i said uh, walking through the jungle <laughs> You approach this like body of water. Never There's a waterfall just from up top, just, just just constantly pouring water into into this like this like lake, small small lake, like a pond more. Uh, and Siren, uh, what kind of like look? Um, I believe I see a, a, a cavern over there. If you want to use that for you know, as she like says that, um, I'll have a look as well. With my fucking a billion <laughs> feet, uh, mm -hmm. dark vision. Um, yeah, yeah, I'll... yeah. You can see time. <laughs> I can see time. <laughs> only only when it's only when it's dark. <laughs> During the day, I'm like... <laughs> no, and I will. Um, I'll take up the drift globe and uh, put it out and make it follow us and light it up just as a light, just so people can don't get too lost. All right. Just have it with us, and also um, we don't need a fire to see. What is we just need this? A... Fire would be nice to be warm. Yeah, exactly. We need to As you uh, kind of like enter this uh, this, this, this cavern. <gasps> Maps. Oh cavern, I'm not scared. cavern. Oh no. This is kind of the uh, the way it looks. Um, you know, less lit up, obviously. But uh, how what, how far does your drift globe um, shine? That's an excellent fucking question. Uh, it is. Is it twenty twenty? Which way he does it? Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. I hope not. 2020 has been shit. Yeah. It doesn't. <laughs> it's the light cantrip. So 20 feet it's radius. Right. It's 2020. So right? 20 it's feet, like four 20 squares feet bright in. and 20 foot dim. Dim. Yeah. Yeah. It's 2020. Okay. Or I can cast daylight, but it would just be. That's weird. a bit overkill. <gasps> yeah. So realistically, what you'll see, you'll see to like halfway into this like big uh, chamber. Um. Siren. We'll uh, kind of look at you. I mean, suppose this will do, at least until the rain's gone. Keep an eye out. Definitely so. I will um, sure survey as much as I can in the area, if even if it's just being grazed. Does stuff. the cavern look entirely natural? Yeah. Any signs of wear footprints coming um, and going? Make a. Make a, make a, make a survival check. Any survival! Okay, Any nice. gnolls? <laughs> uh, 12 plus... T -t 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 -t. 5, so 17. Um, you definitely ca catch some prints. Uh, uh, it takes you, like, you know, you're kind of like, you kind of accompany uh, a Lazarin. Uh, you find some pretty large prints. You're not sure how old they are, but um, yeah. almost like you know, ape-like. Oh, fuck! I will cast borrowed knowledge. Okay. Get the big fucking book out. It's in my bag. It's probably fucking it's got, like shake off a bit of dust and wetness on it. Uh, yeah, and I'll give myself a proficiency in perception. Okay. Sure, man. Um, and I just want to have you a... didn't have that already, honestly. Shit. Nope, I just have a plus five. <laughs> just base. Wow. Oh, uh, we've got... We've got big ape prints. Are they fresh so... or...? Uh... Not fresh, but... When he says that, Not can I try and, try and smell and see if I can smell any, like... Monkey esque smells like, uh, in yeah, the cave are coming from the back. Uh, ooh, not bad, not bad. Uh, 18. 18? Um, well, you're not sure whether they're apes, but you definitely smell some kind of like fur type uh, scent. Okay. And that, and obviously, never mind, dumb question. I was gonna be like, and not coming from any of our party members, I was like, the only one who should have fur is me and I don't, so never mind. Because <laughs> Onu has feathers. <laughs> so I'll I'll tell Kess by a sign language that I smell some other like furred hide-like smell, animal presence around. 
Dagon smells some other kind of animal. Am I able to like see... In, in the cave? Yes. And I'll just point towards the back of the cave. Oh, great. I'm assuming that's the direction it came from when I smelled it. Yeah. Or like, yeah. <laughs> Am I able to see like the back of the cave or is it still just hard to well, see? How far was... into the cave are you willing to go? Oh, I have the I 300 mean... foot dark vision too. No, me. that probably went... Oh, oh that wore off? I gave it, oh. you, I gave it to you like ages ago. That's why you're walking around the city. Yeah, yeah whilst fair, you guys walking fair. around. I mean, I have the 300 foot dark vision. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, how far so that's what I'm saying, like, the... even just stepping in, though, because I, I would have put the drift globe would probably be next to me. Mm -hmm. So I would have walked in, like, 20 feet? 10, 20 feet? We'll say a 15, couple, couple of us, fucking difference. A couple of us could potentially sneak further in and see what's there. I mean, can like, I... Say you're here, then, uh, this, yeah. this little boy. Yeah. So, realistically, you'll see light till about the line of, the like, the bottom rock. Yeah. And 20 foot pass will be dim. Yeah. And then past that will just be sort of like greys. Yeah. So can I see that? There's like no wall in that. Obviously, I can see it on the fucking stream. Mm -hmm. But can I see that like where that no wall bit is there? Or. Make a perception check. Like a narrow tunnel. Get the fucking dice out with him. Uh, 17. 17. Um, no, you don't. Okay. Because... Oh. Uh, to see oh. that, you'll have to look past these three huge... Huge, well, like, gingery, red-furred apes, just kind of like... However, what I see is three massive fucking apes. Yeah. They're, they um... haven't quite, like, noticed you. They're kind of, like, here, just kind of... Oh, no. I will I'm gonna lighten up the place. I'm surprised. Imme monkey. Immediately, like, I just so see it. Kind of try to just like I just deact like, look at the group, and just be like, fuck. Oh, like, uh, I shouldn't have fucking done a survey. <laughs> I'll I'll keep it actually. I'll keep the drift globe up, but kind of just like turn it so it's Wait, the other side. So fuck, kind of, uh, mm, that drift globe is kind of there, huh? It is. That does kind of yeah. change things. It's bright light. Because it is, they just noticed this like super bright Glowy light. light. Yeah, we came in just shining lights around. Yeah, so they did notice that. Um, and as you kind of. Do they look friendly? Mm. Who has speak with animals? One of them. <laughs> me. Like gets up on his back two legs and just starts. Okay, I'm going to oh, speak with back to him. I'm going to speak with animals. Go for it. As this guy's just like. <laughs> Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, yeah. hold on. <laughs> Hello. Like stops, it's... looks at you. We don't mean you any harm. We're just trying to get out of the rain for the night. Any way we can work with, the, just you know, work this out without you tearing us limb from limb. <laughs> you food. No, 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 no. We're not food. But we might be able to give you food. You give food already. Oh. <laughs> well. Oh, no. But this could be an amicable. He's, he's, he keeps coming closer. Every time you say or ask something, he he he's not stopping. Like. He's okay, not stopping I'm not. Him. I'm. I'm. I'm not going to narrow in the in the bow of entangle. I'm I'm casting mage armor. I'm on my okay. Chest with I'm my giving my fist. <laughs> I'm whether giving you my, self my uh, vision buffing. Whether you eat us or not, it's going to be a really bad day for you. <coughs> so why don't we just not fuck each other up, and we'll go no. our separate ways As you say when that, the rain stops. This no. front one that you've been talking to will just like bang his chest oh, again, dear. and you can see that suddenly. He grows. Okay, ah! I cast Entangle. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Oh, no. I cast Entangle. I'm just there having a bottle of cider. Well, of course you are. Brooks is facing the wrong way. He just goes, what's happened? Yeah. <laughs> you cast Brooks is debating whether guy? or not he wants to rage. Um, let me, let me just see. Let me just oh, see. I don't like this. You might be able to get all three of them. I might. No way. They, there's no way it's going to stick, though. Uh, It's a 20-foot square. Starting from a point within range. 
If you shoot it, it in the middle of all three of them, it'll it hit all three of them. Yeah. yeah. Like that middle square right perfectly in the middle of all three. I mean, hey, you can certainly try. Yeah. <laughs> it's going. It's a, it's a very low DC strength save. So. <laughs> um, but they could roll a that one. has no issue with that. They could roll a natural one. Lois was a 14. Fuck. It's a DC 13. Mm, <laughs> With that said, though, uh, I would like you guys to roll initiative before we continue. Mm -hmm. Now, Speak With Animals lasts for 10 minutes, so... So you can tell them to fuck themselves when you shoot them. Ooh, spicy. I have to admit, I don't know if it's just the unholy nature of it, but this Hellboy dice set... Mm -hmm. Maybe they rigged it for all the Kickstarters. Maybe that's the attraction. That's it. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh, nice. Maybe maybe it's not just you know luck because that's how dice work. Shut the fuck up, Cobra. Hey. Yeah, dumb bitch. Uh, Cobra, for many rolls worse than anyone, and <laughs> seems to cast all our dice. Okay. Rare. Anyone initiative twenty plus? You fucking idiot. Me. Dirty twenty. Hold on. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Who else? Twenty plus. I got dirty 20. Brooks. Dirty 20. I also got a dirty 20. Dirty 20. Ooh. Which one of you has a high dex? Plus three. Yeah, Davian probably. So we got. I think I'm a plus three think, as well. I think we're also yes. plus three. Roll but what's yeah. your actual stat? Pick, what's your actual stat? Just fucking pick. Me! Okay, <laughs> yeah. Wow. Ranger. Because I can cast Entangle again before you give him to melee. I was going to say more because you don't get to go up top that often, but. That's what she said. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It normally away. doesn't last long when you're on top. I got 17. 17. Oh, you're same thing. You're definitely a higher deck. Yeah, I'm definitely higher deck. Guaranteed. <laughs> I think so as well. Uh, okay, uh, 10 to 15. It's just. I got a 10. Yeah. I'm not last. You're the last one. You're not that last. means I'm your turn. You can heal all the damage. I rolled with Fire You got a 1 um, and a 7. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's like <laughs> luck. Let's get your dice work. <laughs> yeah, because funny enough, Duke. It's quite possible to get those everybody? two numbers. Thanks, everybody, and, right? Yeah, it's everyone. All right, so with that said, Kess, you go first. Did you, you roll for these three, these three large, lost. like, large apes, one of which just, like, grew significantly in size after conversing with Davian, which to you was just a bunch of... Kess, it's like, oh, fuck it. And casts Shadow Blade. <laughs> And it's just gonna go over and fucking wail on him. <laughs> Hi. Uh, you going to the big one? No fear. Yeah. This woman uh, who has I, like I dislike cool health. HP. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, twenty something. Twenty two. That hits. That hits. Stabbing his ankles. Uh, so 14 no, uh, psychic damage and 3 thunder. 14 psychic. Yeah. 3 thunder. Noise. So 17 total. Mm -hmm. What is math, dude? Fuck me. All right, there we go. Tough. Okay. Anything else? Uh, no. No? No. Okay. Davian. I'm gonna cast Entangle on the three of them again. <laughs> Go. Okay. It's uh, so another triple strength save. Yeah. I mean, the lowest, the lowest is a dirty 20. <laughs> oh my god. Rumble. Yikes. <clears throat> maybe one of them consents to it. <laughs> yeah, may maybe they choose to fail the save. Yeah. No. <laughs> it's just not uh, even an fucking vanilla monkeys. Okay, I mean, fucking Onu is gonna fly a big boy. Uh, with a 15 to hit. That hits. Oh! Big monkey, hard to miss. Big monkey, hard to miss. Sounds like a really shit children's toy. <laughs> <laughs> All kids want big ones. Okay, well, I just threw that D4 on the ground. No, I threw nice. it on the ground. Okay, oh, four plus three plus two. Nine? 
nine points of slashing damage. All right. And then Onu's going to back the fuck back out like 20 feet. How, uh, he's got, what, 60 feet flying speed, so. Are you moving anywhere? Uh, <laughs> yes, I'm moving back <laughs> alongside like, Onu. Oh, yeah. Onu, like here? Yeah. Okay. Is that your turn? Yeah. All right. Brooks. Five, ten, fifty. I'm doing math. Mm-hmm. Don't. With my 40 foot of movement. Yes. Can I get in a position where I am in melee with all three monkey? There's one spot I have in mind. It's flanking big monkey with Kess and also fucking over the other two monkey. Jesus. Um. 10, 20. Yeah. You can get here. If not, I can flurry blows for it, but I have 40, so. No, you can get here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, bonus action rage. So okay. I don't die now that I put myself here. Yeah, you kind of. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, and then. Oh, boy. I'm going to. Uh, then, uh, no, you know what? Fuck it. Frick it, boys. Um. Uh, before I wait, rage. Yes. I'm going to use my action. Um, I'm going to cast Thunder Wave with my hand axe of Thunder Wave. In what direction? It centered on me. Oh, true. Thunder Wave's like a fucking cube or some shit, right? This is a like... fifteen foot cube centered yeah, on all, me. That'll hit all three. Nice. So it hits all three. Is it also straight uh, Con saves. Fifteen foot Con cube. Saves. Uh, ooh, ooh, that's not great at all. Oh, really? Uh, 15, <laughs> 6, and 4. Uh, the 15 saves. Mm -hmm. uh, um, I'm going to use my reaction to cast Silvery Barbs, so he oh. needs to re-roll. Natural 1. Nice. Okay, they all fail. Mm -hmm. <sighs> they all and take 8 points of thunder damage. And you have next attack. Uh, cool. Pogo. How many points of damage? 8 points. They all take 8 points of thunder damage. Okay. Um... And they're all pushed 10 feet away from me. Is that like limited by size at all or not at all? Nope. Well, okay. In Wait, case... the one that's the one that has people in front of it, is you just pushed into them and like gonna knock them over? You just like knock 10 feet, you say? Yep. Yeah, this this one just like completely just obliterates Cass. Oh good. Uh Oops. Cass, for the sake of this, make a deck save. Good job. <laughs> it's Dex. Cass wins these. Can it affect creatures that large? Yeah, there is no size limit. Hell yeah. Just like mom. <laughs> <laughs> oh dirty dirty 20. Dirty 20. You manage to just like whoo, duck back as you see this fucking, oh. uh, there's this ape just like thundering towards you. Uh, this guy, I mean, can only go that far because there's a wall there. And this guy, 10 feet, you say? Yep. Okay. Does the guy who hits the wall take any damage? No, he's pretty big. He dude. runs into it so hard, it's just like just a, it breaks like, no. like a normal piece. thing. Did I use my full th uh, fucking forty foot to no, get where I was? I'll move ten feet up to up the where? big boy. So like here, yeah, okay. All right. And bonus action rage. Okie dokie, man. That was a that was and a turn, that's huh? my turn. Oh. Yeah, it was. All right, Wait, number three. Which one's number three again? Uh -huh. This guy. Uh, Monkey Angie. He's gonna stomp on his chest, stomp on the ground. Get bigger! And he now also. <laughs> he's big boy! And he's gonna use his movement to uh, get there. And that's his turn. Dagon. Okay. Um. I am going to go um, just to the, the kind of square above. Um, whoever's in the center facing the, f the farthest, most big dude. It's not Brooks. I don't know who that is. This is Brooks. This Brooks. No, the other one. The one on the other side of that first big monkey. That's a Lazarin and Kess. Yeah. Okay, I want to go above a Lazarin and so on here? the edge. Like, yes. So I can, yeah, so I can melee this monkey, but not be in range of other monkey. And when I get in front of him, I'm going to pop out the, the arms. So he has to make a dexterity save. Ooh. My my arms covered in black panther fur. 
Dex save 12? Fuck, that's my save. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's not great because I'm my my wisdom needs still some help. You know? Um okay, so he takes no force damage. That's fine. And then I'm going to Yeah, I'm just gonna start just uh pun punching him. No, I'm gonna as the arms pop out. The yep. arms like grab the spear off my back and then just shush and just try and shove it okay. in with my regular arms out, kind of bracing me for the impact. Hell yeah. Roll attack. No, it's a, it's a natural one. No, it's not going to hit, sad. unfortunately. <laughs> now to use my bonus action. All right, that's my turn, but I have my spear out now. Woohoo. <laughs> <laughs> so and I like, have arms out now. Out the, like, the, like, uh, the, the the extra arms, and with that they take your spear and just make a thrusting motion towards the ape, and it seems like you do hit the ape, but it's such a thick skin that you don't nearly go deep enough for it to actually like be affected by it. And I didn't put enough force in he, it with the he arms. He kind of looks looks down at you and just like like bares his teeth at you. I just hiss back at him, and that's my turn. Good okay. Um. Uh... Jaxi Poo. All right. <laughs> I'm going to move diagonally down and left two squares. Here? Yep. And then I'm going to cast Fairy Fire on top of the two monkeys and Brooks. You all need to make dexterity saving throws. Thanks, man. Uh, Brooks, you do have advantage because I gave it to you because I thought ahead. Okay. Did you? I did. Um, Watch me get two nat ones. An eight and a seven. Neither what one sort of save was it, sorry? Uh, dexterity. 18. Okay, you save. Awesome. Uh, now any, so now those uh, two monkeys, we have advantage to attack them. Okay. I'm so offended by this. I mean, <laughs> he's doing dex stuff. Uh, Thank you for the con stuff. On lumbering things. You were doing strength stuff. Yeah, but the con <laughs> stuff also, all right? Okay. It makes you feel any better. They it's also need my dex save. So uh, and then for my bonus action, I am going to use my defensive shield. Okay. Or defensive field, sorry. Um, and give myself four temporary hit points. Very good. Yeah, so these two, like lo like the, the apes that grew in size, there's just this like, weird like purple pinkish, like you surrounding them, lighting them up for all to see. All right, is that your turn, Jax? This is. Elazrin. Oh, holy shit. Oh, That's you. Turn already. It's me. Um, hmm, I got this big, big, big boy in front of me. I haven't seen anyone get hit yet, right? Or Correct. No one's been hit yet, yeah. Hmm, oh, no, Kes, Kes got hit by a monkey barreling no. into her. <laughs> oh, no. She dodged that. Um, then <laughs> fuck it. I will uh, just level two inflict wounds the one that's in front of me. Okay. Yeah. With advantage, right? Because it's very fired. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's glowing. Please, natural 20. Oh my god, that'd be so sick. I didn't, but it is a uh, 22. That hits, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yes. What the fuck are my D10s? Hmm. Do, 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 do. Do 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 for twenty points of damage. Twenty points of damage. Exactly oh. average. Uh <laughs> you just like put your hand points. on this like big ape's like leg. You can see like this the, the, their fur is like red but almost like the hmm. leaning towards like ginger. Uh, yeah. And as you wear the patch of fur where you put your hand and just like channel this this necrotic energy into uh, just goes black and you can see the hairs on that patch of fur just like curl up and just kind of like die just at your touch and yeah it's uh, it doesn't look pretty it's definitely a a darker type of magic than what we're used to seeing uh Lazarin use on a daily basis that yeah. will be my turn because i'm fuck moving away from this thing uh -huh. <laughs> all right big monkey He's gonna have some he fun. He has lots of choices. <laughs> he does. He's got a multi-attack. Yeah, of course. Which means he's going Everyone. to try and bite one person. 
And then he also gets two attacks with his big monkey hands. What the fuck, monkey? Why um, Elazarin just pumped a fuckload of necrotic energy into this guy, so he's gonna mm -hmm. target the bite at Elazarin. Uh, which is a 16 to hit. That is my AC. Okay. Uh, so he just like ducks down and you can see there's like this giant mouth. Would big enough to snap you in half if you're not if you're not careful uh, because of Ooh. the fact that it's grown so much in size. I know um, like you. What's the damage die on that one then? And because he is enlarged, he deals extra damage. Oh. Uh, 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 18 points of piercing damage. Yeah. Cool, 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 cool. He then looks around him and, I mean, has two more targets just like right in front of him. So he's gonna swing one fist at Daigon and the other fist at Kess because they're oh, both good. right there. So the one to hit Daigon is a dirty 20 to hit. Yeah. Okay, so I'll do damage for that one first. Uh, which is a... Every attack this guy does uses different fucking dice. Eighteen points of slashing damage, Daigon. To me? Ow! Mm -hmm. Okay, gross. And Kess is a sixteen to hit. Your muse bell? Just hits. Mm -hmm. Just hits? Okay. Yep. So Kess takes... Dude, I'm uh, almost at half health. What the fuck? Also 18. Wow, points really? of slash damage. Oh, 18? 18, yes. 1-8. Nice. As this 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 big yeah, ape just like ducks down to bite at the laser and at the same time just... Poof, poof, it slams a fist into... Or like a, more like a swipe with this like this long like claw almost. Just like... Swipes at uh, both uh, Kess and Daigon, hitting all three. I mean, monkey mad, monkey hungry. Um, this ape at the back is going to use his movement to get here, and is then on his turn also going to enlarge. And that's its turn. That means it's now Siren's turn, and Siren. Is going to. I think it's time for Siren to do fucking tree stuff. Some fucking tree stuff. Mm -hmm. Siren is going to. Use her guardian soul ability. So she. Uh, yeah, she is just going to turn to uh, a larger, larger version of herself. Her skin covered in in bark, uh, some like branches sprouting from from her from her body. Um, which gives her some temp HP, as well as uh, she just looks like a looks like herself, but she's slightly bigger and is just covered in. Like tree bark, almost. Hold on. Which also means she grows... ...a size. And that's her turn. Big which means it's Kess' uh, turn again. Okay. I'm uh, gonna attack the one in front of me with my Shadow Blade. Oh yeah? Uh, wait, does it count as flanking? Yeah, you are technically flanking because uh, Brooks I mean, is. Get advantage Brooks is very like, oh, oh, true. Could I have gotten advantage when I rolled? No, because Brooks isn't directly on the other side of me. Uh, I would have given it to you if you would have asked. Wait, you had advantage anyways because the fairy fire. Oh, true. The fairy fire hadn't happened yet because I went before you. Did no, you I know, but same? I was saying but... for Kess. Uh, yeah, that was oh, oh, true, true. It's a hit. Sorry, what was that? Twenty-three. That hits. Uh, six psychic damage. And it was actually two thunders, so if you just add one ah, thunder, whatever. it balances or well, whatever. Okay. And then I'm gonna attack with my dagger. Go for it. 
Wait, who's freaking giant? At the back there. Pass. Zero. Oh. Giant snake mummy. 23 to hit? Snake mummy. That hits? <laughs> Uh, max damage. Five, six, seven. Seven points of damage? Yep. Alrighty. <laughs> Very good. And so you just like, with your. It. It's like one dagger, it's like one shadow blade, and you just fucking jam both of them in there. Alrighty. Anything else? Nope, that's it. Davian. Hung and Hunter's Mark, the big boy. Which one? There's three big boys now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the fr the first of the big boys. Okay. I'm going to shoot him with my bow. Go for it. And it's a 24 to hit. That hits. For 9 plus 3, 12 points of damage. All right. Very good. And then Onu's going to swoop in. With a 22 to hit. That hits. And he's gonna do six points of piercing damage. Six and points. And then fly out again. Of piercing damage and then just. Okay. And that's my turn. That's your turn. Beautiful, beautiful. Brooks. I'm gonna. Mm -hmm. They're all big the musical now. now. Dungeon select the musical. Yeah. Please no. Please no. Hit something. I just don't know Stop. what. Oh God. my God, please. Okay. I hate you. Um, you always just like, like a, just a few seconds too, 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 too much. You know what I mean? Just like, ah. I'd rather last too long than not long enough. But, oh. Right. Uh, oh, so many jokes, so many jokes. None of them look bloodied yet, correct? Uh, the one in front of you has taken quite a beating. Has it? Yeah, it looks pretty fucking rough. Okay, that's the only one that's threatening everyone. The other two are only threatening me, and I'm Correct. unkillable in Brooks's mind, so. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna swing for the guy in front of me. Go for it. First with the hand axe. It's a fucking 22 to hit. That's hit. For. Oh, of course it'd be a 1. Suck my clit. Uh, six points of slashing damage. Six points of slashing damage. Then. Uh, 15 to hit. 15 just hits? Hold on. Uh, no, 15 just hits. Was not Thank much just for hits. that. I rolled double tens. Uh, so that one is 9 points of bludgeoning damage. So 6 slashing, 9 bludgeoning. Mm -hmm. Nice. And then I'm gonna fucking punch a third time because flurry blows. Uh <coughs> Hold on. Uh, because as you hit it with that second attack... Oh, baby. Oh. You, uh... Dead as heck. Use a knockdown status for this, I think, because uh, just killing him off and just having him disappear seems a little fucking weird. Because his big old body's in the way. Yeah, so... I get knocked down. You fucking... Did you, like, what did you, hand axe and then just fucking deck him? I or? hand axe and then just went for, like, a kidney punch. You, like, hand axe him just, like, in his, like... Fuck, man. In his, like, leg, I guess. And just kind of pull him down, and just with your with your left fist, just you can hear a bone kind of like snap as this as this big large ape just and just tumbles down and uh, does not seem to get back up. Cool. I'm gonna smile at everyone over the top of this fucking corpse, and then I'm gonna turn around and arbitrarily choose North Monkey. Okay. Uh, who is also fairy fired, correct? Yes. Cool. Uh, to fucking natural 17. That'll hit. Uh, that's another fucking nine points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. Is that and three? do I move? I technically have a shit. Fuck it. Uh, I am mm -hmm. going to use my 50 foot of movement because I flurry blowed. Uh, to go all the way around one of the monkeys and get in the middle of them, but on their rear. Okay, but... You can't go between them. Okay, so I go around. You go around, so you're leaving one of their melee ranges. When I flurry of blows, because I am a drunken master, I gain the benefit of the disengage action. Oh! 
Okay. That's so cool. whenever I flurry of blows, I get an extra 10 foot movement and I can just walk away. Okay. It's very cool. Then yeah, never mind. So yeah, you, you just want to go around and get where you are now, I guess. Like, yep. Yeah. Okay, okay. Cool. Dope. That's cool. Cool. That's my turn. Okay. Uh, this monkey is going to take the bait and turn to face you. And he's just going to and bite you and just with two of his fucking stompers is going to go smash smash. You. So for the bite, that is a 19 to hit. Yes. For the swing, for swipe number one, that is a dirty 20 to hit. Yes. Swipe number two is a 22 to hit. I think basically, unless you nat one, just assume it hits. <laughs> so everyone in chat was like, how much to donate to charity for Brooks to just be killed outright? I think it's going to happen without your donations now. <laughs> He's just going to die. I didn't say that I think Brooks is unkillable. <laughs> Brooks thinks Brooks is unkillable. <laughs> Dice, yeah, I hope he they, get to, they get to roll double the amount of dice because they're enlarged for for each like melee oh. attack. But, but I'm really just fine. Yeah. Sure, that's how that works. Unless he does 88 damage, in which case we need to run. No. You Wait, does that mean a crits like quadruple the dice? No, it just means you. Roll twice as many dice and then double them. Yeah. No. We don't roll extra dice for crits. Uh, you're, okay. You're not understanding. It's fine. Technically, a crit you're would dead. be the equivalent. Yeah. yeah they basically of quadruple the dice. Yeah. Kind of, sort of, always crit now because they just roll the double yep. the amount of dice. So yeah, yeah, kind of yes, but also no. But it's they okay. can crit confirm and eat your booty pipe. Forty-eight points of damage total. Half to, oh, half to 48? Half to 24. That would have legit killed me. Okay. Like, oh my god. Well, we could be, well, could be now. I'm Appreciate. bloodied. As this guy, as this, this big ape just first like takes a bite at you and just like tears off a piece of like flesh from your arm. And then with both of his claws just... <laughs> just like swipes oh across your entire being. I am technically bloodied. Yeah, that fucking Ouchies. Hurt. Was that Holy high rolls or low fuck. rolls? Very average. Oh, oh god! <laughs> oh, that's stressful! Uh, that is his turn, though. Daigon. Ah, okay, well, yeah, since the one's back is turned to me, and I just saw it fuck up Brooks, mm -hmm. and it's glowing from the fairy fire, gonna run up to it and try and stick my spear in its back, and then also flurry a blow, so the arms that are popped out not holding the spear will go in for follow-up punches after the spear goes in, if oh, they yeah. all land. So for the Good spear... advantage. Oh, true. Okay. Better. For the spear, that's 19 to hit. Hits. Okay. So, nice. Uh, roll that damage forced. Fuck yeah, max damage. 12 points of piercing damage on the spear. Okay. And then the first flurry of blows. Fuck me. I pulled a Koiba. I rolled a two and a three. So that's a, <laughs> <laughs> a nine. All right, let's try the other one. Better. Uh, 23 to hit on one of the blows. Yes. For six points of... Six points of damage. I'm just trying to figure out what type of arm it is, because I have two of my spectral arms holding the spear, so it means one of these punches could have been a spectral, uh, and one of them matter. was physical. It, do it doesn't matter. Okay, then six <sighs> points of just uh, bludgeoning damage then. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. They turn? As me. All right, Jax. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um. Well, I can't help Brooks this turn, so I'm going to use my misty step. Quibus oh, dome's not upright. Um, right. And I, I want to nope. teleport nope. just to the south of Brooks on that uh, bottom monkey. Here. Yeah. And then I'm a punch of my thunder gauntlets because okay. I can't cast all the punching. Ball. Uh, there's a dice. Ten plus seven is eighteen to hit. That hits. All right. Eight for damage. Total of six points of damage of uh, thunder damage. Okie dokie. Jack's misty steps and just appears behind this uh, this this ape, and just with the gauntlet just. <laughs> 
Perfect. Uh, and that's my turn. All right. Lazarin. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Ooh. Um, I will bonus action cast spiritual weapon. Ooh, oh, fuck, I forgot about that. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Let me get my token. Um. Uh, 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 uh. There you go. And I'll put it next to the uh, one that's been fairy fired. Here? Yeah. And attack with it. Go for it. With a bad bit. That is a uh, 26 to hit. That hits. And. Where the fuck are my D8? Your dates. My dates. Uh, for 11 points of damage. 11 points of damage? Points. Okay. Yeah. And then as an action. I will cast Guiding Bolt on the other one. Okay. Wait. Wait. You can't cast two spells, though. Oh, yeah. you're fucking right, I can't. Yeah, right. Just <laughs> Sorry, that's 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 Unless you want to Sacred Flame it. I meant Sacred... Uh, yeah, Sacred Flame. Sacred Sorry, flame. I, I, I had two different plans <laughs> in my head. I just merged them together for some reason. You're like, good, you're good. Uh, like, go by one or do I... Which one are you Sacred Flaming? Uh, the other one. So, uh, deck save, please. Dex... Natural 20. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that saves. This yeah, guy's got like a minus yeah. six dex now. <laughs> Their dex isn't good. Match twenty is critical anyway. success anyway. Yeah, well, it works. But uh, like, their, their dex isn't good, but it's not terrible either. It's very, it's very average. That's fine. I still got good hit off on the other one. Yeah, that that'll be my, my Your turn. Uh, because I knocked one of them down. Like this is technically his turn, but he's dead. But I just leave leaving the corpse dead. So you have an idea of what the fucking lay of the land is. So this here ape. Uga, 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 Uga. Oh my god, it's fucking shake. Oh no. It's gonna turn around. Uh, yeah, that scares me. That, that shake is oh not good. Oof. I mean, they're bad. Yeah, they're bad. Oh, stop! I love the little spin. I love the little spin. That's just Big monster. The spin's amazing. Face. It's just a little spin. Yo, he's got 360 no scope you us! Spin me right. <laughs> oh, oh, right, right. Dude. Jack's just fucking <laughs> rammed a thunder glove up his ass, so. <laughs> Hey, I didn't penetrate that. You far, mean right? monkey doesn't have a puppet kink? <laughs> this this ape is just going to do the same yeah. thing the other one did to Brooks and just end by at you and with two claws. Oh my god! Oh, oh no! Why? But Jax is high AC because of his armor. Monkey so. Angie. Yeah. But... I mean, two of his attacks were over twenty. Uh, for the so. bite, is a fourteen to hit. Doesn't ha! hit. Ha! <laughs> Eat my eighteen pussy. for one of the claws. Eighteen doesn't hit. Eat Hell my yeah. Pussy. <laughs> Natural 20 for the other claw. Oh no! Oh, oh no! <laughs> I, I, feel like the happen, bite does, I feel like no. the bite does more damage, so... Still though, it's not gonna feel good. I mean, it could be worse every single oh, one. Oh, I'm about to roll me. a concentration check too for Fairy Fire. You are, yeah. I don't think you're gonna save it. I don't have Warcaster either, So you, uh... See the bite coming, and you, just, you duck down, and he, you, hear, you hear his jaws just like... Like oh. close very rapidly, just right above you. You can I hear, like, you can bit. almost hear one of its teeth like crack because of the impact. Then one claw just comes thundering down from above, and you manage to duck to the left. And then as you duck away from that uh, that one swipe, the other one just <laughs> flattens you. Just hammer fist my back. Oh, oh god. Uh, oh god. You gonna be sore in the morning, lad. <laughs> oh god, that's not good when the DM says. I might oh, be a god. pancake. Who While knows? Rolling. Mate, Thirty-five are... points of. Slashing damage. Oh, fucking. Okay. You see, thirty-five. That means I have a DC of seventeen for concentration. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's a six. No, no. more fairy fire. I have a plus four to that. <laughs> uh, that is its turn, though. Oh. Sirin, now being big tree mommy form. Yeah. Um. Snake tree mommy. Go is going Siren. to. I'm assuming she can you. just kind of do her shit while in tree form, right? That's kind of how that works. Uh, let me see. Guardian Soul. Reach increases by five feet. Speed you have becomes... Uh, yeah, okay. Hit points inside of your turn. Becomes large. Yeah, I mean, she can't move for shit because she's a tree, but she can fucking shoot still. So that's fine. Um, so, Siren is going to... Whip out her bow, which has just magically also 
grown in size. Is going to first Hunter's Mark the ape that just wailed on Jax. And is then going to fire an arrow at it, I think, yes. Uh, that's a natural 19, so that's going to hit. Boom. Uh, for 11 points of damage. There we go. Cool. Cool, 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 and that's cool. Siren's turn, I think. She's she's good where she is. Yes. Ashlyn. Uh, I'm gonna move up so I'm behind the one, uh, the southern one. Janet like here. Yeah. Okay. Jackson. Um, and I'm gonna hit with my shadow blade and then my dagger again. Oh yeah, go for it. You have advantage. Natural you're twenty. Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, it's excellent. 28. Jesus. Woo. And uh, two thunder. And then from my daggers. Uh, it's uh, plus five to hit, so 21. Hits. Hit. Oh my god. Uh, three, six points of damage. I love how it's like 30 points of damage on the first one. Six. <laughs> Six. She's yeah, rogue. One is a fucking magical sword made of pure yeah, fucking darkness. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the other is a shitty dagger Brooks made when he was a fucking idiot. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> Bold All of right. you to assume she's using that one. True. Uh, is that is she case? using that one? She is. <laughs> <laughs> is that your turn, Cass? That is my turn. Alright, so you just... You just jump over the corpse of one of the the large apes which by the way as it got fucking destroyed <laughs> shrunk again um is he still alive no he's dead he's just there so that oh. i didn't kill him off in the order so that it's clear where the corpses are uh gotcha. but it did shrink like as, as it as it died it shrunk to its normal size again um so you you run past it hop over it and just jam both of your blades into this 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 omega big ape and just like you can you can with the shadow blade you kind of like jam it in there and just pull and you can feel that you're 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 just slicing through some kind of like muscle or tendon in the back of his leg in the back of his leg and he lets out this very loud roar that just kind of like that makes the cave it makes the cave tremble you can see some some pebbles kind of like falling down from the from the roof of the cave nice Davian. I'm going to use a bonus action to move my Hunter's Mark from Deadman to the one that Kess just wailed on, and then I'm going to shoot him. Wait, you're not casting Entangled? Which is a 23 to hit. That hits. <laughs> I should apologize. That was really toxic. For 10 points of damage. 10 points of damage. 10 points of piercing. All right. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, and that's my turn. It's your turn? All right. Cool, cool, cool. You still like some staying put right here? Absolutely. All right. Rooks. Uh, the one to the south looks bloody as fuck, right? Uh, yes. This one. Is He's gonna rough. get a hand axe to the. They're gonna get a hand axe to the genitalia because I don't know the sex or genitalia of this monkey. Oh, there's a big old monkey. There's a big old monkey dong just like hanging out. There's not gonna be in a minute because I'm going at it with a hand axe. <laughs> Straight for the fucking base, mate. Uh, that is a natural 20. <laughs> oh my god, alright. Well, Usually in America, they charge for this sort of healthcare. Jesus. <laughs> um, that is 17 points of slashing damage. 17? It's still standing, but just. <laughs> <laughs> the monkey or his dick? <laughs> nah, the monkey. Ape. Um, okay. Uh, fuck. I'm gonna... How tall is Monkey? Old. <laughs> Old. Old. Taller than you. 300 feet tall. It was a big old cave. That's true. 
Hold. Hold. I'm holding. <laughs> Hold. Onu's flying in here, fine. So it must be a pretty big cave. Yeah, Onu just swooping yeah, it's around. It's probably like 15, 20 feet tall, I imagine. 15. Are they feet. large? 15. Uh, they are normally large, but because they enlarge themselves, they are now huge. Huge. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll just fucking punch him in the fucking stomach then. Go for it. Uh, flurry of blowsing before I roll this, because I have to fucking announce it. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, that's a fucking 15, which I think you said just hits. That hits you. Cunt's flat. Uh, six points of bludgeoning damage. Six points of bludgeoning? Yeah, that'll do it. So this, Thank God for that. This ape now also just like collapses, and as it does, it just... Haha. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Only god, I'll HP. figure out my fucking shit eventually. Boom, there we go. Leaves one left! As a reaction, in ape, I yell, I tried to warn you! Apes, together, dead. Alrighty. Um... Can I move? I can't fucking flank with anyone, can I? You're flanking with Diagon. You wanna yeah. Oh, I am, line? because diagonals are a thing. Yeah. <laughs> diagonal. <laughs> <laughs> get out. Just get out. Okay. okay. Anyway. Uh, I am going to hit Monkey. Go for it, lad. Uh, 17. Hits. Uh, for nine points of bludgeoning damage. All right, not too shabby. Is that your that turn? That is the end of my turn. All right, I believe that is Lord Ape number three. I mean, Rooks equals targets to him. Like, he's got a personal vendetta against you now. Uh, so he to be fair, just going to I've fucking... wailed on two of his boys and yeah. put him to sleep. And this is the same monkey that, or ape that previously also targeted you with all of his shit, so he's just gonna do that again. Okay. Uh, first one, Good night, guys. A bite attack. Time Fif for 15. Brooks to die. 15 does not hit. There you go. Which is great because I needed him to miss at least one of these. Natural 20 on the on the first claw attack. Nope. Now I need him to like miss at least bites. two of these. And 19 on the, on the third attack. Nope. Okay, hold on. Rip, Is it bad? I almost want him to die to the monkey. <laughs> I won't die. I will probably go unconscious. Yo, guess if he Ready? dies, this solves the problem. I know. One, his and wish rage drops, through. and then the next one's full damage. <gasps> we jinxed it. <laughs> we did this. <laughs> it's okay <laughs> into being. <laughs> 49 half to. Doesn't matter. I'm out. Yeah. That I means the one next one's a crit. Just. I No, I mean, that's all together, right? Yeah, 49 altogether. Uh oh. I, so that'd damage. be 24 points of damage. Yeah, yeah, I had 20 health, so. Okay. So yeah, just shoot, get bitten, and then with two fists, just <laughs> slams you into the ground. Like, you just, you just, you get flattened. Um, and with that, <laughs> you guys watch as Brooks is just there on the floor, crushed, bleeding, not looking very good. Dagon, your turn. Oh! <sighs> Okay, I want to probably, I'm assuming this will be an acrobatics check, but your call, like, stick the spear in, not necessarily for, like, an attack, just if it'll, like, to do damage, but it'll stick and use it as, like, a point to kind of jump up so I can, like, climb up and over the monkey to get to Brooks. I'm trying to do the fastest line Make rather than go around me. and then feed him a bush. This will, this will be your action, though. <laughs> yeah, the, 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 action, uh, the action is not to feed him a potion. The action is to, to leap over a monkey. Yeah. Fuck, an idea. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I guess I've said it, and it's what what makes sense. But it's up to you. you know, because it's metagaming. If I then go, I'll just try yeah. and run around him instead. Uh, well, I mean, I you're really didn't know what the action economy was going to be for. Well, yeah. yeah, like. Can I feel free to say no? Because <laughs> I know normally feline agility is just a double movement speed. Can mm -hmm. I? Because I haven't moved. So I, cause you can only use it when you haven't moved for a previous turn. Can I use it instead to gain advantage on the roll? Um, sure. Hell yeah. Okay. 
Oh! oh natural 20! Natural 20! Damn. So you, yeah, you... Climb up and flip over, monkey. You, like, take a bit of a... You know, <laughs> you take two steps back and you just, like, run. Put your spear down on the ground and just, Oh, like... technically the spear's still in the monkey from the hit, because I stabbed it in before. So I just run and True. use it. So you just, like, kind of, like, up. pull vault, pull the spear out with you. And you land in front of... In, in front of... The ape, basically, like, right here, right above, right by where, where Brooks is. Yeah. In that case, instead, I'll just... So I'm gonna... I'll, I'll, I, I can't feed it to him, but I'm ready. Like, hand over where potions are kept, and I just put my body kind of, like, covering, bracing over Brooks. So if the monkey were to slam down, it hits me instead. Okay. And that's my... Oh, wait! Wait! Bonus action, patient defense. So I All can right. try and deflect a blow, and he has disadvantage if he tries to hit me. Sounds good. Aha! Okay, let's turn. Jax! Uh, I'm gonna use my action to cast Cure Wounds on uh, Brooks. Okay. Oh, I'll uh, lift nice. a little spider out and start knitting him up a little bit. <laughs> He's gonna love that. <laughs> <laughs> Not the fucking spider. <laughs> uh, you heal nine points. So, Brooks, you <gasps> wake up. Uh, still like I'm just like over top of you. Ass, Dagon like hovering above you. Dag is Dagon like and hovering or Dagon just full you. like laying over the top of me? No, just like, just like, like, patient No, because I'm like, in patient uh, so, like, defense, uh, so I'm like. Hunched down a bit and like ready, but definitely like, like looking at you and like. The way I pictured it, I'm kind of almost like it, like more cat form, all fours, but the spectral arms are up in like a defensive stance, ready <laughs> yes. to try and deflect the monkey. So I'm physically so, so like I, this. So I have a cat like spider this. over the top of me, and a <laughs> yeah, small and a metal, metal spider, spider also on top of you, but actually like super. <laughs> <laughs> That's <Fuck>. what's happening. <laughs> nice. Oh, fuck. Anything else you want to do, Jax? Uh, yeah, and I'll use my bonus action to activate my defensive field again to gain some temporary hit points. Hell yeah. Lazarin. And that's the turn. Uh, well, uh, bonus action attack on my spiritual weapon. Bonk. Mm -hmm. uh, which is a 19. Yes. And that is, is it still the fucking like golden nunchucks of, of Joaquin? Golden nunchucks? Yeah. Of nice, Joaquin. dude. Yeah. The golden nunchucks of Joaquin. <laughs> Yep. She uses the most more ninja of deities. Uh, no, literally, that Joaquin's like weapon of choice is just a set of nunchucks. Like, nunchucks. It's fucking sick. I just imagine <laughs> it's, it's like hell. two. You know, a in really, America, where like really you get coins in like the fucking like packets. Yeah. It's just two of those with a chain in the middle. No, they're literally like really like like golds and reds and have like they're really they're really fucking over the top like opulent and like fucking just. Uh, that's eleven points of damage. Eleven points of force damage. Very good. Yeah. And then I will. Yeah, I'll walk up to Big Monkey. Big Monkey, kind of like and I'll cast... climb over the corpse of the other one. Yeah, and I will cast Inflict <laughs> Wounds on it. Oh, okay. Oh my god. Like, do I get? Can I? Yeah, like, I can't get into flanking with it at all. Can I? With anyone? There's no one that's like really. Sure. Hell yeah. Does flanking even work on like me spells, melee spells? Yep, any melee attack. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. No. Uh, hey, that off. is a nineteen to hit. Bad hit. Okay, shot my Denmark. Uh, for fourteen points of damage. 14? No, sorry. No, more than that, even. Oh. Uh, 17 points. 17? Damage. How would you like to finish him off? Hey! hey! I like I like to think this is sort of a similar sort of time, is that as the nunchuck sort of him, mm -hmm. I put this inflict wounds and on that sort of the, the energy in the cross energy goes up to where this force damage hit and you can see this sort of like crackle of energy as the two sort of mix and this make this sort of sickly almost grey colour in the monkey and just singes a massive sort of hole in like its side and it just falls over all right and with that uh, this boy also shrinks and that's uh combat over combat subsides hell yeah siren will uh, revert back to her normal form as well just the normal size no more oh. tree lady <laughs> i would like to crack open 
a bottle of rum and use my amulet of the drunkard to heal. Just like the diplomats we are, we tried diplomacy. <laughs> didn't really work out, did it? Oh, right. is that what you were oh. jabbering about? You just sounded like Shall we, a um, monkey. Um, <laughs> right, before we get into was, like, yeah. uh, to monkeys. proper mm -hmm. RP and stuff, it is uh, well past our break time, so let's. I suggest, yeah, it's uh, been at least yeah. three hours since I twerked, man. I gotta get back. Yeah, on exactly. Already. So we'll, uh, How we'll take dare a break first, and then uh, after break we'll get back to uh, I don't know exploring, the, ca break. exploring the cave, <laughs> doing the resting and all that sort of stuff. I'm gonna make some slippers out of these monkeys. I mean, they are blood apes, dude. Fucking sick. Cool, uh, cool little thing. They were blood they apes. They were blood apes. They were. Uh, yeah, all right. Okay. Rest in peace. Guys, we'll be apes. back in uh, a few minutes, taking a break. Um, if you're new around here, hit the follow button. We are also raising monetary... Monetary? Monetary! 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 monetary. <laughs> monetary. 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 <laughs> no, we're Woo. raising money for charity. Um, Big any information on that, exclamation mark charity, exclamation mark rad, exclamation mark donate if you are so inclined. We would, appre we would appreciate it a lot. Um, catch you guys in a few minutes. Don't go anywhere. BRB. To the big part. Hello. Yeah. Uh, oh, absolutely. Yeah. That's how I get all the calories. Hello, gamers. How's it going? Hello. Really? We're still oh. playing D and Dizzle. It, it, um, yeah. Anyway, never call D and Dizzle ever again. <laughs> <laughs> never say that ever. Again. We are. Uh, we're back. You guys are still in uh, this cavern that so happened to also be the uh residents of a group of um blood apes as they're called and and siren will kind of approach the beings and kind of like prod them a couple more times to make sure that they're actually dead and uh we'll, we'll look at you all right well so these are blood ape were blood apes um particularly nasty type of ape um not their name is derived from the fact that their their fur is more red, but um, they do have the nasty ability to grow in size and hit like a fucking chariot. You don't say. Mm -hmm. Yeah. As, as, no, as, as she says that, I just kind of like hold my back for a minute and like lean over and just like, oh, because I got wailed on a bit. I would like to just investigate the rest of the cavity. Kevin, okay. Look around. Um, as you kind of like, are you going towards? Um... I mean, I'm just gonna do like a loop, I guess. Like, okay. Go, uh, go towards the, the back of the cavern where it goes like a little more slim. Um, yeah. Stream won't see this, but I'll, I'll, I'll show it to you guys. Um, I'll... Find a pile yeah. of bodies at the back. Oh. Uh, some looking more fresh, some I looking will... a lot older. Hmm. I will uh, Ooh, go yeah. in, in, I'll go have a little look and see, see anything there. Is poke there... through. Yeah, have a little poke through. Fuck it. Uh, make an investigation check. Fuck. Yo, 18. 18. Uh, it seems to you that these were just like bodies collected over time of, of adventurers or whatever it may be mm -hmm. that happened to have been at the wrong place at the wrong time. Uh, perhaps they also sought shelter in this cave during a monsoon. Perhaps they were just found by the apes out and about and they were dragged here back to their to their lair so to say um you do accumulate after like going through all of the belongings you do accumulate a total of eight, 80 so eight zero gold pieces and 190 mm -hmm. silver who's Ooh. finding that a lazarin a lazarin it yeah. me oh god who else but the money man um do i find any like items or anything around them no just money, money. That's cool. I will, uh, 190, so what the fuck is that? It's 19 gold, right? Yeah. Okay, so it's So, realistically, gold. you find 99 gold. Gold. Yeah. I will... 99 damn. bottles of beer on the wall. But it might be easier to divide up if the silver is an even number divided by six, I don't know. Yes, divide if it up. If he divides it, yeah. True, true. Uh, that, that, that is a big if, you know. I will... Oh, leave the silver out. Like I'll put the silver in like its own sort of little bag, mm -hmm. and then put twenty gold in that bag and keep the sixty. Okay. Oh, why did you choose sixty, you bastard? What did I do it to myself? It doesn't fucking divide by four. Fuck. Dumbass. 
yeah, I'll do that and I'll, I'll go over them. Um, I just found some bodies. 16 um, there was... before. What? Is it? 40 and does. 20. Oh, it does. Of course yeah. it does. Fuck, I'm stupid. <laughs> what the fuck? 15. 15, yeah, it is. I don't know why I didn't think it did. God, I'm so stupid. Anyway, it's okay, I'm glad we're trusting you with this money. I know, I was just saying, oh, I found a little bit of. Uh, just found 20 gold and. Seems like 100. Well, a fuck ton of silver. And I'll kind of start counting it out to be the 190. I mean, do you have room for 190 silver? Not particular. <laughs> don't particularly like using silver very much. I do. It's hard to polish. Oh, I'm sure you do, Kess. In a fucking little bottle or whatever. <laughs> yeah, it sits on a desk in there. I just have a pile of you have money. have a desk in there? Yeah, I have a desk. Why would I not have a desk? I don't know. All I really remember when I asked you to describe it was there were, there were like cushions on the floor or something. How big is Big enough. <laughs> the silence. <laughs> <laughs> right. Big enough for one to sleep and have a desk with money on it. And but conversations with a party uh, or. Hmm. Well, yep. Okay, so it's at least you know twenty by twenty. I would guess. Sure. Yeah, nice guess little four hundred square foot studio seafront. Well, if there that was in the town, it'd be worth quite a penny. 400 square foot. Oh, well, yes, you know, inflated prices and all that. In Electrum, maybe. <laughs> it used to be about uh, 4,000 Electrum a month or so. I'm yeah, so glad what's 4,000 Electrum? <laughs> in actual money? <laughs> oh, it's uh, <laughs> worth fucking gold? nothing. Oh, it's not worth anything. Oh, is, is the point the well, to a collector, I'm sure it's worth something. <laughs> I don't think anyone collects Electrum. Well, I well do. Jax does. I'm sure he'd pay <laughs> an, an Elect for it. So, I mean, <laughs> well, I wouldn't give it. You could always melt Electrum egg, but... down. <laughs> so, Electrum is worth scrap, is what you're saying? <laughs> oh, it's the Electrum no, not a lot. It's like. <sighs> It's worth it's barely, the it's value in precious metals when you I'd say it's it down. barely worth that nowadays. <laughs> yeah, but we, the time you put into melting down Electrum to get as little I'm saying. precious metals out of it, I'm sure people While would be paying having you to this take it off their end. Mm -hmm. Can I just walk over to one of the blood apes and start trying to either through use of my like spear and prying it out or just pulling it, especially before my arms disappear, try and steal one of the biggest looking like maybe like monkey teeth? Yeah, sure. Uh, for the sake of this, um, let's make a make a strength check. But if you're using your spectral arms, you can use your wisdom. Yeah, before right? they disappear. Yeah. Sure. Meanwhile, oh, fucking oh, dirty twenty. Yeah, there's like um, electrum. You know, they're like they've got like very large like like fangs in like the corner of their mouths, and you manage to just yeah. grab one with yeah. your uh, spectral arms. Blood ape fang. Snap it out. Yep. Hell yeah. Quite a big fang. It's about, I'd you know, say, like this, this big. Ooh. Dope. <clears throat> Add it to the part of my bag that also has a crocodile tooth. Oh, <laughs> I'll get my arrows. We're back just gonna as have well. uh, a Diagon make like, I a collect necklace, teeth. A necklace of the different teeth <laughs> of different creatures she's slain along her. <laughs> That's not serial killer behavior at all. <laughs> Well, it could have been like, I mean, ears or toes or something. At least it's just teeth. I right? mean, you could ask me why if you want to. <sighs> Start spelling of our names in newspaper clippings. <laughs> it's not like you'll be able to tell me why unless you start writing. <laughs> Again, the newspaper clipping. <laughs> <laughs> that shouldn't have been that oh. funny, but a fucking will. Oh, oh, well. How are we doing watches tonight then? Same as you. Um, I wouldn't Bags mind the watch it. with Lazarin, if that's all right. <laughs> I'm sure you would not. Just fine. would like to have a conversation. Oh, check up on yeah! Him. Conversation. Uh, uh, you just see uh, Lazar just like, uh, just nods. Just, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm gonna like nudge Lazar. 
Uh, Lazarin, when she says she wants a conversation, it's probably a bit it's more a than a conversation. <laughs> if anything but, happens, Lazarin. But it's like an old man like, whisper where everyone can still hear it. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, he he don't worry, young man. <laughs> he just, he just like, looks at you, Jax, and just kind of like punch him. Punch him. But not goes does doesn't go for a punch, but like th there's this death stare that just like oh you almost Hell point, yeah. like like her like forked tongue kind of comes out and you for a second oh. you hear this like oh. snake like hiss. I'll take last watch. I guess I'll take the middle. I'll happily take first watch because once I go to sleep, I don't want to get back up. I'm going to bed. Right. <laughs> Good night, Jack. Good night, old man. Oh, you fucked it up, Laura. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. Dungio <laughs> And I'm muted, so I double fucked it. You did. Dungio 93 Pog. <sighs> All right, so right. who was having first watch? <laughs> Brooks. 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 Whoever wants to join And you. me and Daigon will stay awake. Oh, really? Uh -huh. yep. Alright, so those of you that go to bed uh, during the first watch go to bed. Uh, anything while the watch is happening, Brooks, I would like you to roll a perception check, please. I don't win these. Okay, you don't need to win. Uh, 15. Uh, well, you can still hear it's absolutely pissing it down outside. The monsoon yeah. has not gotten any less bad at all. It is still just like this heavy downpour. You can hear it just like... Combining that with like the sound of the, the waterfall crashing down uh, beside your the, the cavern, it is loud as fuck outside. Other than that, okay. it's like the cavern has been cleared. Other than that, you don't hear or see much else besides just the sound of falling water, whether it be a waterfall or the monsoon or a combination of both. I will... Uh, pull out my journal until anyone does anything else. I'm just gonna sign to Kes. Did you see my really cool backflip? I saw earlier? it. It was really cool. That was cool. so cool. <laughs> and obviously, you can answer that out loud if you want to. That's I did. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And then I, I I show her the tooth I took or the fang. You really like collecting teeth. And then I sign back. Well, not that it really matters anymore. But back in the clans, you would take trophies from hunts to build your esteem as a warrior and prove your effectiveness. So. You, habits die hard. When you go home, you'll have to be like absolutely covered in teeth. I imply, I, I just say, fuck going home in sign language. <laughs> That's fair. <clears throat> and then just Brooks. go back to chilling. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Would you like to tell Daigon what happened? <laughs> Is everyone else asleep? How loud are they talking right now? <laughs> In this echoey cave. <laughs> hey man, That's we've got the white like, noise oh, no. generator that is the fucking storm. The moon, yeah. Well, yeah. So. You literally, like, pe people have fake rain noises and, to uh, sleep, you get the real thing. Cozy jungle vibes to sleep to. <laughs> That's probably fire cracking as well. That's probably taking up a bit of sound. True. Kes would have waited like half an hour before she brings it up. Yeah. I mean, so we'll up until that point, like, has been Yeah, we're having our, our silly conversation about the backflip yeah. and the fang and shit okay. before. So it's like, also, people get used to hearing us talking and be like, ah, yeah. oh, they're not Did talking about anything important. Siren is awake, but she's just kind of like with her back against the wall, just not really paying attention to what you guys are talking or saying. But she angry. She's just like thinking, thinking about things. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Have fun with that, Koiba. <laughs> We maybe oh God. go down the other end, or go for a walk in the rain, or... Walking in the rain sounds bad. I mean, she's a cat. I don't think... <laughs> I just point to the back of the that. cave. At yeah. least your fur won't get wet, Dagon. I just... And I, squinty eyes, narrow eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, let's go. Over by the corpses. <laughs> yeah, let's go chat by the corpses. bodies. How how decomposed are these corpses? There's some of them are just skeletons with rags on. Some of them are a little fresher. Um, it's a good mix of everything. I will stay clear of the fresher ones. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need any more diseases. Mm -hmm. <laughs> more. <laughs> Plural. Yeah, you do have a real bad problem with rusty cutlets, huh? 
everyone else does, they bathed in the same water. <laughs> okay, I'm... Um, this is... I mean, do you want to tell Dagon or should I? Because this is more... No, you go thing, ahead. We met the steed. Nice guy. Ish. Bless you. Bless you. <laughs> uh, I'm just imagining I... Dagon like doing the fucking like, just you know, like when a cat or a dog like starts to sneeze, and the first like they just wind up this like big like, like the, their face goes all fucking like <laughs> fuck. It won't. <clears throat> The ring, the wrinkly, the like, especially the wrinkly Dagen's nose because to of cats. the lack of fur. I do the cat thing where I sneeze like six times, but they're all really small, short sneezes. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I don't know why I, that, tickled, that tickled me. Anyway, so I woke up with a letter in my pocket that was inviting me to go have a chat with someone when we get back to Eldalon that I think well, I now know is the same name that Jolly slipped up with if you know who I mean she Not does, yes <laughs> well, I've met this person before um, I had them I, I had them translate something for me uh, when we were in Eldalon about about a week before we, before me and Jax met you guys, so. I mean, I'm taking it as a good sign that they want to chat, because otherwise it would be ambitious to notify me in advance if it was going to be threatening, but. The I, I'll sign to Kess and, and ask for her to translate. Uh, I mean, they've been pretty unobtrusive since our joining. They're not they're not going to get super involved in your day-to-day -day life, if that's a concern. I will repeat that. I'm willing to have a conversation. I figured that maybe... We should tell you, given that you're so involved in this. But the prevailing opinion seems to be that it would be more of a an offer of employment than a hey, turn up, let's have a chat. Oh, by the way, we poisoned your your tankard. And the steed is going to um, push this idea. For I'll us. nod, nod in understanding. I also say in sign language with the intent for it to be translated. I mean, the free healing potions is a pretty nice perk given what just happened and what always happens. I repeat that. And the poison and the picklocks and the carts. <laughs> I cannot help but feel that at some point someone is going to turn around to you two and be like, hey, we've given you a lot of shit. You owe us a favor. It's a good thing I have an in with the person in charge of the entire organization then, isn't it? Isn't that the whole point of this meeting? No, not them. Do we, do we tell him? I mean, he might as well know at this point. Yeah, I'll nod. Yes. And then I'll nod. If we really need to or this is in sign language to guess yeah uh and with the intent not to be translated if we really need to we could always convince him that you know the the mission of this organization is legit and these items are better off and the hands are given to you with that that letter we have because clearly someone very not on the up and up was upset with our acquisition of the last thing well, I don't know, it just felt mm -hmm. convincing to me. Yeah, that that works for me. But only, okay. only, only if he needs convincing, because otherwise that might freak some people out. He doesn't seem the, one to, the kind of person to freak easily, though. Considering he walked into the face of a bunch of apes. 
<laughs> like this, right in the middle. Is this verbal? Yeah. <laughs> I... You're just hearing like Kess's side of the conversation. Uh, yeah. To be fair, I was only in the face of two of them. I was behind one of them. <laughs> mm. It made a big and difference. Counterpoint. You walked straight up to one of them and you are, while incredibly mm. talented, a lot fucking squishier than me. I'm gonna ask Kess to ask Brooks, can he get out the letter that he got for a second? Because I want to try, try something. He destroyed it. Oh, okay. Um, instead, Destroyed do we have what? anything? Do we the have anything with their insignia got, on it? Hold on, let me check my inventory. I, yeah, so random letter appears more? in my pocket. I'm asking if we have anything with the crimson lotus insignia on it, but looking at my inventory, I don't. You do. You should. Oh, have I just map. haven't put it. You should have a map. That yeah, has, we have like, maps. Like, True. Insignias. Okay. Okay. Um, Kess has that though. Yeah. I'll, I'll, there. I'll, I'll ask will... Kess for the map. <clears throat> okay, I will hand her the map. So I take the map out. And um, and then I'm gonna tell Kess uh, again. La I'll I'll stop asking you to translate soon. But just say, Brooks, uh, real quick. I want to teach you two more words in sign language. And wait for him to respond. I will repeat. I will sign yes. Okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna do the signs for good and evil, and have Kess tell him which is which, and then point to the Crimson Lotus logo and make the sign for good. And then just like hold my hand over my heart to imply like I genuinely believe that. Okay. Okay, I'll explain exactly what they do. So I've already told you about Elsinil. Vaguely. In as much as you tell anyone about anything, yes. Fair. I met Elsinil through the Crimson Lotus because she is in charge of that organization. She took it over when she ascended. And um, basically the entire purpose of the Crimson Lotus is to steal items that are very dangerous in the wrong hands and either destroy them or make them so that people can't get their hands on them. So it's a more moral thieves guild yeah it's a thieves guild but they do it out of the goodness of their heart i you'll, just nod you'll, yes you'll, you'll like hear a voice coming from like oh, the dark side of the cave hey baby well that is one way of putting it i suppose and Does, do all three of us hear this yeah yeah, yeah. okay and it's like tall figure just like approaches the fire and just sits uncomfortably close to brooks and puts like a hand on his on his shoulder you can see her hands are these like have these like long fingers with sharp nails <laughs> this is the first time like she definitely looks elven in nature but beyond uh, you have never had any experience with like arch phase and and that sort of thing but just like would it Elven remind me of something from a children's book? Sorry? Would it remind me of something from a children's book that my dad might have given me? Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Uh, and she just goes to sit down and just looks at you. Just smiles. I will smile back. Hello. Wave. Er, you, uh, you guys chit-chatting about me and... What you guys do for me, so I figured I'd join, you know, join the fun. Some some campfire you gossip, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, carry on. Oh, I, I'll ask yeah, Elsinil. Oh, while you're here, who who won our last bet? Because our, oh, our yeah. terms, our terms, we, we, we couldn't come up with a winner because no one, no one, no one <laughs> gave away the fake fight before we got to Eldalon, so Kaz said like, you should just decide who I won. I feel like nobody really won. No. God damn it. Is she responding to everything verbally? Yes. Okay, cool. I have to clarify yeah, every time she, Dagon talks just, to she someone. She does not throw hand signs, she just responds yeah, yeah. verbally. She doesn't yeah, yeah. throw gang signs, okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> exactly. Damn it. So. I don't think I need to introduce. I think it's fairly obvious. Or your 
stupider than I assumed you to be. <laughs> be rude right off the bat. I <laughs> would not question my intelligence given that I choose to hang out with you still, so. That uh, speaks enough by itself. Yeah, exactly. All right, so... Nice to meet you, I'm Brooks. <laughs> hmm. 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 <laughs> no, you're not. Bruxley? Ha 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 I was I waiting mean, for that. <laughs> semantics, <stupid> really? <laughs> it's what they call a power play. It makes, makes you know that I know things about you. <laughs> yeah, but she knew that about me, and... And you lot chat, so... I don't, you think I would have told her? To think highly of yourself. Know. Why would they talk about you? Silly. Who wouldn't? Me. <laughs> Lots of people. <laughs> anyway. Oh no. I mean, it was an attempted power play. I'll give you that. There, there. <laughs> I'm just going to give Brooks a very sarcastic, like, like doing a great job, like facial expression <laughs> and like that kind of gesture. <laughs> It's quite all right. Okay, I will rephrase my initial introduction. Hello, my friends call me Brooks. Mm -hmm. Is that more acceptable? Oh, everything is fine. I was just thinking about. Ah, oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> anyway, sure. so, so whisper on the wind. Mm -hmm. Is that uh, we might have ourselves a new potential member here. But, you know, without beating around the bush, I figured instead of that, you know, asking them questions, I um, figured maybe you'd have some questions for me now that the jig is up. Okay. That way Rather I get to than... quiz them a bit on their knowledge. See, there's a, you know, a pop quiz. See if they've learned anything with the time with us. Oh, you two are in for it now. <laughs> Whoa, okay. No. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> rather than the vagaries fail. I'm used to from these two, mm -hmm. what's the whole stick, the selling point of the happy family? What do you mean, the stick? That's, I take offense to that. Are we not a happy family? I don't know. I've only met five of you. You've met more. You're just I, not aware of I, say, I just I hold up. I hold up six fingers. More than that. Even even they have met more people than they know. You know. So it's all very neat True. basis. True. Anyway, um, the shtick is that when I got control of this this happy go lucky gang of thieves. They were in it for their own, their own means, and they just wanted money for the sake of having money. I've granted them a bigger purpose. Make money while making the world a better place. You ever hear of the, 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 the staff of Antiqua? Did I ever hear of the staff of Antiqua? No. No, but that's the point, probably. No. Exactly. <laughs> So it's theft, just theft with a panel on the back as well as a coin purse. It is theft that makes it so that artifacts that either don't belong on this plane or are originating from this plane but are way too dangerous in any mere mortal's hands and would guaranteed cause mass destruction and a lot of deaths, just Away. Making the world a better place. A safer place. But it is paid work. Of course. Of course. Okay, so... Why does it feel very much like I'm walking into a den of vipers? Well, it's I like you face. say. It's like you say. Um, these two, their first mission for me as it were was to break into one of the guild halls in Aldilon to make sure that 
a particular item from their prize cabinet would just up and disappear because it was way too dangerous and nobody really knew what it was besides a select handful of people that did not have good intentions with it. It was So, fun. at the end of the day, because of the lack of knowledge about these items, you know, a staff might just be a staff. A, 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 an antique crown may, have just, may just be an antique crown. Therefore, if it goes missing, to the mere mortals and the uninformed, it is theft. So, you're technically breaking the law. It is just that... You know, people lack the information as to why, which is why there is still the risk. You are still thieves. You are still, you know, breaking and entering, that sort of thing. If you get caught, there's nothing I can do. Well, there is, but not immediately. Hence why um, I've told, you know, my my higher ranking members to keep up the, you know, the Thieves Guild flair to their business. Because at the end of the day, that is how they started, and it's what they're good at. I'll just make the, the sign towards Brooks for good again, and then go like this, implying like greater, like bigger. Okay. I only really have two more questions. Mm hmm Number one, is this a uh, someone fucked up and this is the easiest way to deal with it? Or did you plan this from a while ago? Or What do you mean? Me. You? As much as I would want to pretend that this was all pre-planned and carefully executed plan of mine. No, she fucked up and now I have to deal with the consequences. If it helps, though, if you stuck around long enough with us, I was going to tell you anyway. With Dyken's permission, of course. Yeah, the thing is, at, at the end of the day, and it's also why um, your two friends here appeared on my, um, you know, list of potential recruits is because um, they're well-traveled, they've done their fair share of mercenary work, and... This makes it so that uh, they can keep doing what they're doing, the mercenary work, and now, you know, you as a group, um, traveling around, making the world a better place, and then occasionally, if you're in the neighborhood of a place where I happen to know of an artifact being that really should not be there anymore, you know, I make sure that my people reach out to them, and um, there you go. It's all very freelance. There's no, no obligatory, oh, you have to turn in five artifacts a month, or else you get... Punished. No, it's just, I've got people everywhere, and if I happen to know of an artifact close to where you and your friends are or are traveling, I'll just casually hit you up and be like, hey, there's some money in it for you if you want to make a slight detour, you know? That's fair. And with that come the benefits of uh, safe houses all across the, the province. Uh, stash houses all across the province that could, uh, you know, provide you with free potions, free poisons, and sorts, other supplies. Um, need a roof over your head? Um, ask any of my members that you're aware of, and they'll happily provide you with a roof over your head for the night. It's all very, um, you know, we're a friendly bunch to each other. Does that Most of the time. friendliness <laughs> remain intact if someone decides after a while they want to get out of the game? I mean, people retire, it is just, we keep tabs on you, and if you ever dare slip your tongue once, we cut it out. <laughs> Maybe not the most pleasant answer I've ever heard, but certainly the most realistic. Okay, I can work with that. You strike me as a man that likes honesty, so. From other people, sure. Oh yeah, absolutely. That forging kit in your pack does not really give me the idea that you like to be honest, but you know. That's fine, Would that's exactly the kind of people I need. The first person to go through my pack. <laughs> yeah. I've least told the book. I stand I've gone through all your friends, their bags, just to make, you know, keep an eye on things. <laughs> does so anyone things. have anything exciting we don't know about? Hmm. <laughs> yes. Who and what? 
None of your business. I just, I just kind of like whack Brooks in the back of the head. What a I'm like, God, hypocrite. God damn it, now Cass is going to have to take the thing. And I'm like, God damn it, why'd you ask? None of your business. Uh, now you've created a competition. Okay. I'm just very nosy. I can see where Cass gets it from. I, I just want to know. To be, to be yeah, just... very honest with you, she was like that before she met me. I promise. Oh, okay. I it won't is blame one you of then. the reasons why, I, you know, I find her quite entertaining. Sure, but at least I'm not the only one then. <laughs> okay. Um. I'm great. Anything else? I don't necessarily know how to answer this right now, but thanks, I guess. It's all good. Just make sure that you, uh, you know, you attend your meeting and you two girls accompany him. Maybe a lot of members of this uh, family of ours that you haven't met yet, and it might be a good chance for you to, oh. you know, make some introductions oh, and no. expand oh, your network. How bad an idea would it be if I turned up looking like you? Don't just face Paul. Oh. I'll be there too. Just if I you know, looking like Cass. I'll be there too, <laughs> watching, and, but I, I don't plan on revealing myself unless. You know, situation demands it, but, um, just, you know, look like yourself, obviously, address each other with your, you know, your designated code name, which I guess your friend doesn't have yet, but... I was like, what? I just said, what code name would he even get? Everyone else, it's like something related to either a visual cue well, or like a, 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 an occupation. All I can think is... of is the drunkard, and that's a terrible name. Well, I was thinking more along the likes of, like, he's really good at hiding it, but he is a devil of some sort, right? That's what I figured, but that seems real mean, considering he hide, tries so hard to hide it. Well, but... I never yeah, really funny. tried that hard to hide it. it I is just... a, we're at the end of the day. You removed you a know. body part. That sounds pretty Orange try hard to me. Really inconvenient. Think of every disguise you've seen me in. Now imagine how difficult they are with with horns. And the moment someone takes your hat off, you... you know, just I, respect, I, res I respect the hustle. Don't, don't worry. It's just... um. I decided to guess they should call him Sir Fancy Pants because he's obsessed with keeping his clothes so nice. <laughs> that's a very, uh, that's a very long name. The, uh, the, the devil, or you know, we'll think. We'll, the we'll, tailor. We'll, we'll, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's that not was that. a good one. Well, what you know, one? We'll, we'll workshop that idea. You know. What, what 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 was a good I'll one? I'll just I'll scratch out oh, in the dirt um, on the, the ground. Tailor. Yeah. But I And I point to your, always, your vest. Always than one, I guess. <laughs> I mean, one I'm being, not a apparently tailor, you like but... to keep your clothes neat and the other being well, you're a tiefling without a tail. So that's funny as well. Ha! A bit of a... Ha! Ah. It's a little funny. Don't give me that. Not all tieflings have tails. You are aware of this. Your point? I just feel like it's a very outdated and stereotypical view of a tiefling. You're not going to cry, are you? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, 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 no. I'm not going to cry. Anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll workshop it. I'll, uh... But it might have been funny to lie. Hmm. Uh, speaking of, by the way, Lying or crying? Oh no. Um. Oh, there's a thing nearby. There's there? one thing. Yeah, there it is. Tiny one. Um. Do you? Do you know? You're you're accompanying. Um. Have you been given the name of? No. The captain. Name. The ship captain. Mm hmm. Vera. Uh. I mean, I mean, I, mean, I go about that. I may have. <laughs> I may have, I may have done a dumb thing. What? <laughs> so, and I just tell her how I just completely forgot what Kess's code name was in the moment, and I was like, "Water imagery, pirates," and I hazarded a guess. So Captain probably thinks I'm a moron now, but <laughs> well, it's still funny. It is pretty funny. Well, anyway, um, you're going to be accompanying her like uh, for this little task. Um, I just want to ask you a favor. She's technically, um, she's one of us, but I'm a bit worried that... She's gonna take it for herself? Yes. 
Not yep. that I don't trust her, but it's just old habits die hard, and she is a pirate captain, so I'm a, you know, I just want you guys to keep an eye on her after you retrieve said artifact and make sure she doesn't, you know, do anything with it that she's not supposed to. Like run off and flee, for instance. Of course. That's all. Just wanted to make sure that's, uh, you know. Wait. I trust you too, and I guess so by she's... proxy, I trust you as well, and, um. So she's in on the whole. It's not just a random go here, catch a thing, it's. Well, it's kind of like a. Uh, she wants to use it to get back at those that wronged her, which is a, 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 a something I granted her. Like, okay, you can do this one thing with it on the condition. And then give it back. She yeah. give it to me afterwards so that I can make it disappear from this plane of existence. And she agreed, but... Well, at the end of the day, she is a pirate. So... So you don't necessarily have the belief that it's her intention to return it. Exactly. Which, if she doesn't, she's excommunicado. Mm -hmm. So which is okay. why I, uh, I'm yeah, not it's, sure if that makes me feel better good. or worse. Very good that uh, you know some members I actually trust are going to be on the same ship as her while she retrieves it and make sure that everything goes smoothly. I'll just say hi in sign language, high praise, and then make the sign for thanks. So Brooks would know that one, but the part that came before it, the high praise. You've know. you've proven your loyalty and your. Um, you know, I don't know. There's just some something about you that, well, Tygen, don't take offense, but I feel like I you're the last person to ever cross anyone's trust on purpose. Uh, Kes? I also just say I also feel like I'm a pretty convenient recruit since I I literally can't oh, tell people anything. Ever... That's true. On that's accident. True, true. <laughs> but also, nobody would ever expect such a you know citizen, upstanding citizen like yourself, scared to even go near the law <laughs> to be in on an organization such as this. Uh, and Kess, I just, quite frankly, think you find it way too entertaining to ever leave, so. Oh, yeah. It's fun. Hmm. Exactly. I like stealing things. And as far as you honest. go, Brooks, I feel like, I mean, you have a bit of a history of being a bit of a naughty boy, right? That sounded sexual. <laughs> that was out of character. Well, then maybe let's keep that between us for now, at least. <laughs> he has secrets. Okay. Don't we all? Anyway, I just wanted well to, 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 to run that by you, you know, because I, I happen to know that in a few weeks' time you'll be accompanying her while retrieving said artifact, and just want to make sure that keep an eye on her. And should there be any funny business, let me know. Of course. Right. Well, good talk. Any more questions before I, uh, dilly dally? No, I just I yawn think... and say no because I'm sleepy. <laughs> okay. It was. It was nice to meet you. It was. It was. We met. <laughs> <laughs> and she'll like give you give you a little <laughs> wink and and then get up from beside you and and walk towards the fire and just like. And she's gone. I think it might be time to grip up drinking, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I've been seeing a lot of weird things this past couple of weeks. That's not the weirdest thing you've seen. No, that's true. I had a terrifying vision of a fireman, thanks to Daddy. Mm, exactly. Just wait <laughs> until you meet my dad. <laughs> I don't know if we're at that stage in our friendship yet. <laughs> I've already said I intend to pull him out. Because oh, Jax thinks I'm crazy. <laughs> I, I thought you meant like a, like a, just the three of us. That was the weird vibe that I got. No. You want to come over to mine for tea with my dad? I wouldn't waste the opportunity to watch Jax suddenly become white instead of blue. 
I'm just gonna yawn again and just say sign goodnight and just go curl up by the fire. Cause I'm like, okay, discussion over. I'm tired now. I assume she signed something about sleeping. Yes, she said goodnight. That's fair. Uh, with that, unless you guys want to discuss anything else, uh, head back towards your uh, your designated beds for the night. Um, who do you wake up for the Elazar- night? Elazarin! Elazarin and Siren! Immediately. Well, Siren's already still will, awake! Before anyone wakes Elazarin up, before anyone wakes Elazarin up, mm-hmm. I'll go over to Siren. Is Siren still awake? Yeah. Hey, so, um. Huh? Sorry, we're, I was. We're going to sleep in a minute. Are you. You're doing okay? Yes, I just. don't like. being treated like. Child? Fucking cold. I said it. I, said it. I, and I think just I know what you're wanted to have a to. word with him about it. That's all. I promise. I get your point, and hurt. I won't hurt him. I think it's justified. Just keep in mind that it comes from a good place. I'd like for him to say that. Yeah, but he's a fucking moron, and you know. <laughs> It's not my problem, is it? I just thought I'd give you the forewarning that we're going to wake him up and out and make sure that you're okay. I'm all right. Thank you, though. Do you want to kick him or shall I? I'll oh, I'm him. already very not so gently doing it. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the so I even heard I, this I, conversation, got back yeah, out of bed. Got back like, up and was like, <laughs> 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 just fucking Jesus Christ. Pouring <laughs> itching powder down his pants. No, 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 no. <laughs> Oh, good out. <laughs> oh, I'm awake. I'm awake. And I'm gonna I'm and I'm gonna try very hard to stay awake <clears throat> as long as I can while pretending yeah. to be sleeping to hear their conversation. I have <laughs> pretended to go into the vessel, but I've actually just turned invisible and I'm hovering around where Brooks is sleeping. <laughs> I am going to attempt to sleep <laughs> with the fucking uh, journal in my bedroll. And I even pull out my meerkat plushie because everyone knows I like I sleep holding on to it, so I'm I'm all cuddled up. The but best ears wide I've open. Ever won. <laughs> okay. Lazarin. Uh, yes. I've been thinking about things, right? Mm-hmm. And why didn't you just tell me? about, well, everything. Before uh, I go on, can I make a perception check to see if people actually are uh, the fuck asleep? Sure. Or Make a perception check. And do I need to roll anything? Uh, that is a 23. Um, as far as you can tell, right? Mm-hmm. Kenza's gone, which looks yep. like normal. Yep. Right? Um, whether she's in a vessel or invisible yeah. looks the same to you because she's not fucking there. Um, Brooks. How long, how long has this been? Like, how long do they wait before they talk? A few minutes. I don't think they're waiting. Oh. Okay. Brooks is probably half asleep, if not already fully asleep. Uh, and Daigon, I mean, you see Daigon cuddling. So to you, everything looks relatively normal. Um, Daigon. Yeah. Can you roll a performance check for me? Ooh, that's a good. I was gonna say either performance or deception. Nah, that's a dirty one. A dirty one. <laughs> you get the Minus one Dagen rolled is, two. <laughs> uh, trying real hard to act like she's asleep, but she's she's yeah. You know, she's... I'm like fake snoring, and you know I don't <laughs> snore, so you're yeah. like okay. okay. I'll um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll start to walk to the um, entrance of the cave and just sort of stand right at the, just before it starts like getting being torrential. Okay. And just. God damn it. Just try and muffle at least some of it, and I'll talk slightly quieter as well. But keep in mind that like, there's just a fucking storm going on outside. So yeah, that's what I'm like, saying. I'm going, I'm getting, I'm getting to like that close bit that I can, where I know like I'm getting like a little bit like of like drizzly. occasional sort of splash, drizzly, but like not like hugely. Right. Well, I did it because I didn't want to confront it at the time, especially mm-hmm. not at the start. And then, I was hoping you wouldn't get entangled until. Mm. But 
I was taken out of my hands. It's a bit stupid, isn't it? Yes, but most ideas that come out of trying to be kind tend to be quite stupid. So your idea was to not tell me about anything and just leave me in blissful ignorance about a group of a, a cult almost wanting to kill you and I would just never find out. This group, this organization, they know how to get rid of people quietly and effectively and make it seem like they were never there. It, it wouldn't make a difference. At least I don't think it would. They... This isn't something I thought I'd have to face. So... Um, panicked and made decisions that... Didn't benefit anyone. Not even myself. Because I tried to run from it. Is this also why you've been different? Distant? Yes. I... There's a lot going on. I'd be lying if I said it didn't hurt my feelings. That was never my intention, I apologize. But... Unfortunately, hurt feelings aren't at the top of my priority list. I know. You know that I... What would have helped you with whatever it may be, right? Yes. And I did. I did want to say earlier, and, but it, it's a lot to tell someone. Well, especially someone who is trying to get close to people and start relations. I didn't want you to start having to doubt people who are trying to make these bridges with powerful people who could help so much. Yes, they may be part of this organization, but not even part of I this don't organization. Need you to toss about any of that. You, your friends. This is the first time I've really felt connected to anybody besides, you know, my people. I've I, before I met you. My people, my village was, was was pretty much the only world I was aware of. I, if I, if the day would have come where. Turns out, I don't know, Father Ackle is part of some crazy cult. I would drop all my responsibilities for for what I've, I'm trying to build for my people, or, or, or try to get someone else from my people to take over for me, and and pick your side, always. You and your friends. You guys mean way more to me than any of this shit. Oh. The other one just still sort of like looks down and just doesn't say anything. Just, just kind of like sighs a little bit. I get that. It's a difficult thing to start to trust people. Hmm. You don't say. Especially a group as um, I kind of look back. Chaotic are these people. Idiots. A good word. Uh, could say that, but... That includes you. They're surprised. Very much so. Su Perhaps maybe oh, on top I know. of that list. Oh, I'm well aware. I know my downfalls. I just... Like I said, you all mean a lot to me. I... If you, if it's distance you want, I'll give it to you. But at this point, the jig is up, as they say. <laughs> Learned that phrase not too long ago. <laughs> if you have any semblance of, of care for me, and you want to keep me close, I need you to be honest with me about any dangers coming your way, anything. No more keeping me in the dark. I will 
start to just describe to her um, what the symbol of the night webs is um, and we'll just give a sort of the you know cast exposition type sort of just like mm-hmm. give her the give her give her the story um i'll leave out um bits pertaining to like the deep connection i have with valor and just say that he was my mentor sure nothing more um and yeah just give us the sort of like not like the full full story because there's still some things that if even Ashman doesn't want to like talk about but for the most part everything that he believes that she would need to know and that is important see you could I mean give it my um, position as somewhat of a diplomat for my people with your people or I guess you know the, the people of Aldilon in particular. I I get to meet a lot of people, set up a lot of connections with important people. I could, you know, I could use that to your advantage. I keep an eye out for any strange markings and let you know if someone of some kind of position of power happens to have scheduled a meeting with me and, uh, Like, as far as they're aware, I'm just some yuan Ti diplomat. Useful to have, but... I don't know, I just... I'm it's involved now, them. so might as well I know. make the most of it. But I don't know what to do about them myself. I don't know what the best course of action is. And... A lot has come out forever. and a lot is happening. I can try. Hmm. You truly believe that you're more stupid than I thought. I've run. I've run for a long time. Yes, well, and look not knowing I've needed to run. Threatening your family. Threatening you. Threatening your friends. Yeah. Well, they haven't threatened your friends yet, but after that, you know, kerfuffle <laughs> with that devil. My friends mean well. You I know they do. And if they're... The last thing I want is paranoia to spread. Mm-hmm. And it seems it already has quite a bit. They're looking over their shoulders way more than they should do. It's... I mean... Disconcerting. Can you blame them? No. That's also why I don't want to get them involved now. I wanted to learn more myself. Yes, but... No. I didn't want no. this. I didn't want that. It's It's too late for all of that now. I know. Everybody is involved, including me. We all care for you. You know, some may be in their own peculiar <laughs> ways, but everybody here in this cave cares for you. I know. And I'm sure that you managed to, you know, get over that pride of yours. And stop thinking you can handle this on your own. And ask them for help. They'll gladly grant it to you. I know I would. I think one thing at a time. We'll, uh, I'll eventually get over it. I'll, uh, we'll, uh, see what we can do. I'm trying to protect the ones I care about the most who are taken or targeted by this group but grand plans of taking them down no that's not happening oh. lower the influence maybe but i think our friends there might have more grandiose plans than what's capable never know true like i said <clears throat> i care for you hate being treated like a child Kept in the dark. Oh, great. Oh, she's not ready to handle all of this. Oh, she... Fuck off. Will you? <laughs> Just be honest with me. And if, in the honesty, you'd rather me keep my distance, just fucking say so, and I'll do, and I'll do exactly that. I'll 
guide you to Lake Udina. I'll guide you back. We'll travel back to Adron. That's the last you'll see of me. But I need you to say it. I want you to be as safe as possible. Mm -hmm. And you can... As you say, as a child, your decision to make. If you feel you're going to be safer with us, then by all means, you're more than welcome to stay. But if you believe you'll be safer, you know, running on the inside, getting us information. So again, you want me to make people. the decision instead of you? It's your life, not mine. Right. It's what grown-ups do. They make decisions. Not for other people. Hmm. It's rich coming from you. And she'll, uh... Hypocrisy's a fun thing. Hmm. And she'll turn around and go to her, uh, designated area in the cave. I'll, uh, stay just sort of staring out into the cave, out into the, uh, monastery for a bit. And I'll, um, I'll pick up a stone, like, fucking launch it as far as I can. And just kind of just stare out, just to see, see the rest of the trees or anything like that. Just kind of, just stay staring until it's my turn for watch out for a bit tired, more tired, and wake okay. up a, who is, who is next? Uh, in the meantime of like space after the conversation, I want to try and take the journal from Brooks's bedroll. <laughs> Isn't Brooks like clutching that fucking? Yeah, it is in the bedroll. It's in the bedroll <laughs> because yep. they had a stupid fucking bet about stealing it, and mm -hmm. neither of them mentioned the fact that they'd made the new Daramus. But given the <laughs> fact that they got the shit beat out of them, Brooks has just made the assumption that they're carrying on with it. <laughs> It was a good assumption to make. <laughs> so he has been sleeping with it in his bedroll every night. Jesus Christ. Okay. So how do you how do you try this? I'm gonna try and replace the journal with my Comprehend Languages book. And just kind of switch. Indiana Jones. Make a slide of hand check. Okay. It, I feel as though how do you wanna do how are you gonna try and do this? It's more of the there's not much space in a sleeping bag. Are you just literally sliding your hand like along Brooks' body with this book? Yeah. That's pretty hard to fucking miss. <laughs> She's just like kind of. Who knows how heavy a sleeping bag is? Actually, Slider have this advantage. Okay. Actually. Well, that was better than what I rolled. So. Okay. What is my. It's slide? not hard. My passive perception's awful. <laughs> True. <laughs> uh, where is my sleight of hand? Uh, a dirty twenty. I mean, Elazar's yeah. just having a very nice dream while she does this, and therefore Brooks, doesn't know. Um, <laughs> Brooks, <laughs> or sorry, Brooks. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna, for the sake of this, I'm gonna let you roll a perception check, Ethan. <laughs> uh, do you want? Which do you want first? The total or the natural roll? Either. Because it's a total of five. Total. <laughs> oh no. But it's well, a natural. Passive, my passive is 11. The, the total is five. I rolled a four. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Kess, uh, yeah. there's nothing yes. to stop you. This is, uh, yep, yeah, you've got the journal. To be fair, he has oh, been yeah. at the drink again. Yeah. True. And he yeah. got beat the shit out of, so you know. Yeah, Sleeping no. a bit deeper. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The wombo combo. She accidentally sleep. pushes on one of his broken ribs and wakes him up. <laughs> <laughs> Bold of you to assume okay, it was an accident. So, I guess. That's <laughs> one thing she could do. <laughs> uh, you have the journal in your possession. I'm gonna, like, sneak back over to my, like, and disappear into my vessel. <laughs> And then I'm gonna look at it. <laughs> As I get up from my watch, I just see a book like floating. <laughs> <across the cave. laughs> I, was, I was gonna say, hey, invisibility lasts one hour, but this was a two-hour conversation. <laughs> <laughs> no thinking emoji. No. Yeah, I know. Um, all right, so Davian, you wake up. Uh, Kess is just gonna have a peruse through the journal, I guess, and I guess they, oh, her yeah. and Ethan can suss out uh, what she learns. Yep. Well, it sucks to be her because I'm about to go knock on the vessel. <laughs> I was, I was gonna. <laughs> she sits down, opens it, finally. As I like wake up, Davian, I was just mm -hmm. like, be careful if you have any conversations. There's listening ears. <laughs> there is there. Yeah, all these foxes, Sarah. <laughs> 
What do you mean all these fucks up? I would hope they're as asleep as I was. <laughs> and I just go to bed. <laughs> Jax mumbles something about Electrum in his dreams. <laughs> I'm going to <laughs> lean over to Jax. And I'm going to whisper to him while he's asleep. Electrum is going to be worth so much money. <laughs> <laughs> he just mumbles, I knew it. <laughs> 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 okay, so Kess, okay, so you like you're in the vessel, you you put the, the put the book on on your desk, and you're about to turn the page, and just hear. She appears, and she's still got it in her hands. <laughs> she's just like, what? <laughs> what would you have done if I was Brooks? <laughs> <laughs> well, he's fast asleep, so I just assumed it wasn't. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. Yeah. Oh well, it's just you know I I might want to talk to you about something. Okay. So <clears throat> so I went to see Sir Oliver, right? I remember. And he's not all there anymore. I would assume it, not. Seems like he was after the same thing that I'm after, and that his not all, me. not all thereness is mm -hmm. as a result of something that happened while he was there. So just don't do that. <laughs> but what if we have to do what he does to get the thing that I want? I mean. As long as you succeed, I don't think there'll be any negative consequences. Otherwise, that would de defeat the entire purpose of having the three tiers thing in the first place. What's use is an apprentice or whatever if he's lost his mind? Are you still... I mean, you're a bit strange, but... I was always like this. Right. Yeah, but you've always... True. You're a, well, well, you're a later term, so I guess it doesn't count. Mm. Do you think I'll get one of those? I'll just point in the vessel. No. Why? Because you're not cool enough. What does that have to do with anything? Everything. All I'm saying is, I don't know who I should tell about the fact that we might lose our minds. And... Oh, I think it's I really want it though. I think it's worth the risk. For me, maybe. You also don't have to tell the others. But that's why I was telling you. Because it sort of takes the weight off a little bit because like at least I told someone, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and when have I, I ever kept a secret you, from the rest I'm of wait the a minute. <laughs> <laughs> it's seriously. Uh she's like at the edge of like the circle where everyone is lying in with her back to watch everybody uh she was there i don't care she was there she was, she was there with there. me so we might have to go inside a volcano and then we might lose our minds it's not a big deal it doesn't sound like it well that's really all i had to say enjoy your you know book club I will. And, and also, I might get one of those. What? One of these? Thing. Yeah. Nah. Well, I've already got this. Oh, well, yeah. Them. I figured that that will be your spellcasting focus. I don't think I'll fit inside it. No. <laughs> I don't think it has an opening. I could make one. <laughs> mm, I don't think it works like that. Were you, right, you going to say something? Yes, I was just going to add that you're going along with all of us. He went by himself. And you also have assistance from a djinn, so there's also that. I think it was Estisha that did it, and I was wondering if you could talk to your menagerie of elemental friends, and I'm probably going to try and talk to Kosuf and see if that's really what happened. So you because think it was... If this really Stisha... doesn't want him to get close to that thing. And you think like... it, he said it, sent him crazy? 
I I think that in an effort to protect the tier, Istisha fucked Sir Oliver somehow. He said he's missing like two weeks of his memory. And he doesn't know what happened. And the whole Triton village that he was so chummy with up before that point acted like they'd never seen him before. Hmm, interesting. So, <clears throat> I think it was just a show. That would just, make sense. Yeah. Also, they make sacrifices and we might get sacrificed. What, like, it, the, the sacrifices, like, go in the volcano? No, I don't think so. I think they just, I don't drown them. I don't know. As far as I know, the volcano is quite separate from the actual Tritons. Well, it would have to be, right? <laughs> right. Oh, well, it's under the water, though. It's just yeah, probably too hot. But I think the, the, the gem is inside the volcano. And therefore, you know, still, it's it's dangerous in there. It's protected, whatever. But the tri separate to this, the Triton do make sacrifices, apparently. And also, there's a giant monster. If they don't make sacrifices, it comes out. Um, so what they might kind of sacrifices. giant monster? No, no, <laughs> sea monster. From the elemental plane of water. That narrows it down. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly something terrifying. What do they fuck what do they call it? Um, I don't know. We just call it like the beast in the lake, but in dwarvish, a bit weird. Okay. Davian. Um mm. Mm. I'm thinking, you know? Yeah. I would like for you to make a... Make a nature check for me. Natural one. <laughs> Never mind. Uh oh. Does he get advantage because he's a ranger? <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you fucking owe me, baby. Sure. Roll another nat one. Oh, it's a 19 plus. Four, so thirteen. Damn. I mean, twenty-three. Okay. You crank that soldier boy. No, you know that of a creature, a, a monster, um, that are also uh, called gods in the lake, who live in deep ocean abysses, deep lakes, and the elemental plane of water. Um. That does, you know, it's it's Ooh. one of those like legendary monsters that really only stories be written about. A kraken, an aboleth. Oh, I fucking knew it. Aboleth. Oh no no no. That's like that's the that's like when you're thinking about really like oh, elemental of water, monster in the lake, living in like the deepest depths of bodies of water. That 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 fits. That fits. That fits. Oh shit. Well, yeah, you know, just sort of pass that along. Do you, do you know what an Aboleth is? Do I? Yeah. Um, DM? Well, funnily enough... <laughs> funnily enough... Um, though they are aberrations, they are native to the elemental plane of water, so... Uh, them being native to one of the elemental planes, I'd say you probably have heard of them, yeah. Never seen one, but definitely heard of them. What was the question? <laughs> Do you know? Well, I was just asking if Cass knew what one was. Um, yeah, I mean, I've heard of them. Have yet to meet one. <laughs> DM? Hello. Would I be aware of Aboleth's powerful psionic powers? Uh, what was your nature check again? 23 because you've got a natural 19. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you are able that the way Aboleths kind of get people to do their bidding for them is by oh, enslaving God. them, uh, oh, by charming them to the point where they just serve them at their whim. Oh, God, this sounds fucking terrible. Oh, so, like, I'm you awesome. know, now I'm putting all together in my head, it's probable that, you know, the Aboleth probably has the whole village of Triton under some sort of brain and his two weeks of Only probably two weeks? also 
He was an intern for an Aboleth. <laughs> <laughs> so you think the entire Triton community are under the control of this thing? If not all, at least the most important ones. Uh, in particular, there was one, a healer, that he seemed to have some faith in. So maybe, maybe not everyone, but definitely the leader, to say the very least. Yeah, this could be spooky. I don't know how arrows fly underwater. <laughs> not very not well. great. <laughs> not great. No. <laughs> I mean, so what's your plan? Like, we kill the Aboleth and then the Triton go free and give us the tear in gratitude? I mean, that sounds good on paper. Can we do that? <laughs> what? Probably. What Sir Oliver told me was that the, this this thing lived in in the in the other uh, plane in the plane of water, and if they didn't sacrifice enough things to it, it would come out. So maybe we don't need to, maybe we don't need to worry about it. DM puts an abolith in game. Yeah, you don't need to worry about it. Maybe it's guarding <laughs> the tear. But the tear is in the volcano. You wouldn't want to. Aboleth in a volcano. Is it? Do we know it's in the volcano with absolute certainty? I don't think they'd want to touch it. I mean, you've tried touching one of... Well, I don't know if you did personally try, but I didn't. Can if you want. I am smarter than that. Brooks did, though. Sir Oliver went into the volcano for some reason or another... I can only assume to get the tear. And that's when he lost his memory. He was burned badly, passed out. Two weeks later, he's on a beach. That's it. That's all he knows. And all of the Triton acted as if it was their first time meeting. I've I've written down tear and volcano, so he must have said it at some point. If we just don't get burned badly, I'm sure we'll be fine. Well, yeah. Which is easy to do when you're in a volcano. Mm. I mean, would would you get burnt by the volcano? Because like you you don't get burnt by the tears, or is it just like a tear specific thing? Like if I, I mean, set you well, on fire right now, would you burn? Specific. I'm pretty sure if you set me on fire right now, I'll burn. Should we try? No. <laughs> you ruin all my fun. <laughs> I yeah sorry I interrupted you reading someone else's fucking journal yeah and now won't let you set me on fire <laughs> to be fair he did tell me I was allowed to steal it <clears throat> then is it stealing that's what he said when I asked if I could steal it we had a bet I win How's uh how's the cave looking? How's how's you know, is there any bad guys? How's watch? Make perception check. It's twenty one. Uh, it seems that the, the, the rain outside is slowly starting to settle down. Uh the cavern itself, no, seems fine. Safe. Quiet. Right, the, I'm gonna try damp, to talk but... to the big fiery man in the other room realm of room. <laughs> Do you still need me to talk to? Yes, I need to know everything. 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 Any anything we can get about Istisha is a win. I'm fairly sure they've told me everything. Well, maybe you can ask about Abelus. I don't know. Maybe I, I could actually ask about Abelus. Right. And I will. Uh... I might not be able to do it though, because uh, that shoe might not be there. What about blue? Well, I already went in the vessel, and then you pulled me out. What does that mean? I can't go back in until I sleep. You can't go back in? No. What the fuck's the point of that? <laughs> Once a day, baby. Yup. <laughs> 
That fucking sucks. You're gonna have to sleep like a normal person. <laughs> Bold of you to assume that I sleep. Is that Kessa's new like catchphrase? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, third time you said it today. Yep. <laughs> Oh my god. Bold of you to presume that Bell does <laughs> The worst part is she says, Bold of you to assume to like 80% of things that are true. Are they? You don't assumption. know that. <laughs> right, anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna disappear into the Dashu vessel. Okay. With the book. Wait, 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 wait. There's another vessel? Yeah, I have two. One is for like her in blue, and one is one for her for in blue. She has told you this. I know. Broke. I know nope. She got a new one. Oh right, right, right. She got okay, a more okay. permanent one. Yeah, because the first one broke. The... Mm -hmm. Oh fuck! Right, Let's whatever. I'm gonna go back to my bedroll, and I'm gonna give my necklace a jingle and see if anyone's okay. home. Hold on, let me make sure to check if uh, I have to like quickly open Discord up. Oh, fuck Please. Rant to deafen, huh? Gotta make sure that the right fucking mic is selected. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. Hello, can you uh, hello, 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 hello? Yeah. Hello, yeah, hello. Nobody, nobody has a hard out for like 45 minutes, just so you know. But ideally, I would. Gonna get my hard yeah, out. Yeah, no, we're gonna, we're gonna wrap up soon here. You're gonna get my hard on. So. I just wanted okay. you to know. <laughs> so <good. laughs> Thanks, Laura. Is it time for Dutch to do I the body voice? I think it is. Literally the I same joke, but louder. I'm fuming. Um, <laughs> anyway. Are you going to, you're, you're giving the, 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 the tears a jingle? Yeah. Like everybody to deafen real quick. Oh no! Motherfucker. I hate you. One session, please. <laughs> okay. You, uh, like, do you say anything to the, to the, to the tears? Yeah, I say, Kosu. We release you from your human bonds. No. Kosuf, <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> um, it's it's Davian here. And we're on our way to the lake, but I could probably use a little bit of help if you're uh if you're listening. You feel a glow coming from uh, your chest. And you can see in like the, 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 the flickers of flame from the campfire that's been made. Um, one like, like one like piece of, of like wood that is on fire, like a little, little chip, ember. just kind of like an ember. Just like, and like slowly makes its way towards you. And as it touches you, you expect it to like be, be hot, but instead it feels very, very it's, it's it's nice. It's a it's calming. It's calming. It feels feels nice. Mm. You close your eyes and you you just see in front of you this, this fiery man, uh, sitting on what seems to be a, just a chair, also made of of of, of like s smoldering wood, and then flames surrounding it. Uh, he just looks at you, and I hope that this voice mod that I called Fire Patron is the right one. We'll see. We'll find out. What do you need? It's the right one. Well, first off, are we all going to die in the volcano? Because that seems like a bad place to go. What makes you believe that you have to be within the volcano? Sir Oliver made it sound as if there was a tear inside the volcano. Is that not true? The volcano was my seat of power before his tissue defiled it. The volcano is now trapped underneath a lake. The volcano once housed my tear. Probably still does. But in many years, Stitch's pet. I have gone away with it. Is this Stisha's pet the head of the fucking Triton or is it the Aboleth? 
Well, the Aberth. Which then, I guess, if things are as bad as you all think it is, also in turn means the head of the tribe. The head of the tribe being the pets of the pets of the physician. It's very complicated. How does one fight an Aboleth? Aboleths are creatures too powerful. Especially in the water, given that they are originally from the plain of water, but not available. You and your friends possess skill. <sighs> One thing I would advise you is break line of sight as much as possible. That's how it plays with your mind, enslaves people. You know, to be able to do that, it has to see them. That doesn't sound like the easiest thing to do in a lake. Well, Wait. you know, I've done some digging myself. The volcano, long been dormant due to its being covered in water. Let's say they've renovated the place in my absence. Um, the volcano itself is now the Aboleth's lair. There's possibility to cover there, then again, don't overthink it, but it seems that when you mortals only really make mistakes when overthinking, especially in the adventuring type, just go with the flow, do what feels natural, we'll figure it out. Very helpful. Don't overthink it. It's still your test to overcome, isn't it? Moving over with all that. If I die doing this, I swear to God, I'll be very pissed off of you in whatever circle of hell I end up in. You won't be the only one. Well, wish us luck, and, uh,. I don't know if if you have any remnant of of power in that volcano, then use it to help us in any way you can. Hmm. Blast a fucking spout of lava up its ass as we walk in. Well, you have two of the tears. Let's just say that you're real strong enough. That seat of flame is where the tears were forged, therefore, they might be capable of some surprises, being so close to where they were originally were made. We'll figure it out. That much we shall see. You'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. I really have a lot of faith in you. More than I do, clearly. <laughs> Got more faith in the people around me though, I suppose. One more thing. So Oliver went in there alone. One more thing that I would like to know. Or I'd like to talk to you about now that I have you. Oh, it's not if you shut the fuck up. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's the show. It worries me. Your friend has connections to, you know, the other elemental plane. Air elementals, the, uh, yeah. She talked to um, the diplomats. Like, yeah, her fucking dad, would you believe? Hmm. It was. She wanted to. Well, I asked her to get in touch with him about. Istisha and 
aboleths, but I don't know if uh, I don't know if she'll be able to. I would like for you to pass on the message to your friend, to then pass on the message to Dashu and Rosmo as well, if possible. I would like to have a word with them, a meeting. Right. Been a while since talked to them, and uh, well, let's just say that this is just behavior, you know, worry. Not just you're gonna kick him out. Oh, I mean, enslaving an aboleth to then enslave a community of people. A community of people already, you know, sort of in Estisha's realm, as it were, you know, yeah, it seems so it's, strange. It's not, it's not good. I fear that the Estisha that he's always been a bit of a dick, but this is all new levels of contents. Well, I'll, I'll... I suppose pass it along that you guys want to have a little parlay about Istisha's uh, <laughs> position. I just have some thoughts that I would like to discuss with them. Not just regarding Istisha, but also regarding a bigger issue which I won't be with until the time comes. Maybe yeah, it seems like. Once you've proven yourself with the Eclectic Fantasy. It seems like a stitch out of power would benefit everyone in numerous planes, given his behavior. So, mm. no complaints there. But, uh, right, yes. I'll see what the tears can do when we're in the seat of flame itself. And uh, I expect to be blown away, but not literally. Which was cool. All right, well, good luck. Thanks for listening, I suppose. Yeah, no worries. And with that, you uh, kind of like a <laughs> back into uh, into the cave. Bonjour, no. Hello. Hello. Uh, with that, uh, so your watch also ends, and you can see the sun slowly starting to to rise. Mm -hmm. And we'll say that uh, Siren wakes up again and kind of approaches you all. And the um, oh, was Soko not unmuted yet? Oh, this fucking—it's always the same. It's what always, it's always the same. Right, Jack sleeps in. It's always the same fucking. Jack sleeps in. He's old. <laughs> Eat shit, motherfucker. Siren will like shit, uh, Eat shit, motherfucker. Yeehaw. <laughs> look at look at you all, but uh, uh, pretty. She she sounds a little grumpy. Um, seems that the rain has cleared up. Uh, it's probably best we leave now, unless you know until another monsoon happens. If we pick up the pace, um, should get to Sethgar by evening. Unless cool. I don't know if uh, doesn't 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 Jax do this thing? Uh, I consult my maps. Uh... Right. Looks like today is going to be a very good day. I just found a map. You can show me. Uh, yes, and I'll hand her the map. I never considered using. Hmm. I'm assuming your check was successful. Yeah. Yeah. I rolled a 19. Yeah, I never considered. She's that. like, it's oh. suicidal, but it'll work. <laughs> God, I might just dance. It's um. Instead of going around the wall, an interesting you just route. Jump off. Like, like. It's, it makes sense. It's just I don't know why I never thought of it. All right, looks like we'll be at Seth Car. Like five, six, five hours, six hours. Perfect. It means we will hopefully avoid any more downpours. Hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. it reminds me of the storms at home. All right, shall we set off? And that's oh, so lead the way. Kes passes Brooks and passes him his journal back and Brooks is like, I think you have holding. something to blow. Yep, thank you. <laughs> and with that, I win. I thought we. 
<laughs> well, Bud was the new Darameth, but she is already skipping away. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and with that, uh, you all go through your day uh, and get Cry. to Sethgar about halfway through the afternoon. And uh, as you arrive at Sethgar, Sirin's hometown, um, we'll pick it up next week. Uh, not next week, the week after. My oh, yeah. I oh, damn, yeah. You. But... Your pen ran out. No D and D next week. Nah, I, sorry, man. I have other Blame things. Blame his grandparents. Hey, man. I have to. Oh, oh man. I'm just not. It, I never I had. I could have timed this vacation so. worse. Can you guys have like a beach vacation episode before we do the important stuff? <laughs> Everyone just goes to Dashu's uh, beach. I mean, I mean this is a good because now you get at least your next Sunday is a freebie while you're on yeah. vacation, dude. Mm. So then. Yeah, but that's literally. Yeah, but we'll be the, at Seth Cass. The we'll just hang like, out. I leave and then it's three weeks that I'm gone. So. Oh, well. <laughs> Look, we'll, uh, we'll travel sessions. We'll yeah. A Lazarin and Siren romance. Uh, <laughs> Cass has drawn and, and if, written if a shit from the Jim Brooks Journal. Like, if you feel like. Uh, if the, if if the, if I'm guaranteed to miss some of these sessions, I yeah, when oof. this is kind of your story, like, like I can always just throw a, a pull of fucking side quest out of my ass for you guys to do while you're there. You know what I mean? Okay. Like it's it's no biggie. It's no biggie. I'll say, so, or we can uh, just do some like watch. Can we can we, too, like, like, go on a side quest? Can we do the side mission that involves the Elasmus well, and romance option? Well, Dutch also <laughs> wants to do the <laughs> Witcher we... one shot, so that could take up a Sunday true, during charity true, month. Where Drink is in here, yeah, and we can play. We'll talk about it. Yeah, we'll talk about yeah. it. I really cool. want. I in my head just have the idea of Elasmus and Siren on a date with Brooks, like as a waiter with a tea towel <laughs> over his arm. <laughs> oh my god! That, that Alrighty, we close that line. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Appreciate you uh, as always. Uh, keep in mind we're raising money for charity and all that good stuff. We'll be back here tomorrow uh, for uh, Divinity with uh, Divinity. Myself, oh, shit. Tim. We're going to be losing that without and, Duke as well. Uh, Ethan, true. We are. Fuck. But, uh, hey. Who do you want on Discourse this week? Who do I want on Discourse this week? I want Duke. <laughs> I want Duke, too. Nice. Uh, I, I, not on I don't know if you're his type. Duke I and... Is my type. Tall, tall glass of water, you know? I think it's like... <laughs> I kind of want to see Koiba. Hi! Can you, oh, yeah. Can you be yeah, 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 yeah. Thursday? Oh uh, yeah. Let me check. I'm pretty sure I can. But so that might be, it might we might it might have to be a little bit later. Just because I'm That's fine. Work. We can we can uh, workshop the time. Oh, like an hour check. or whatever. That's fine. Yes. Yeah. Uh I think yeah, I think I want to do Koiba. Be because there's definitely yeah. some yeah. some character stuff to talk about with them too. So <laughs> we'll have uh, Why uh, he's such a dick to women. We fill our episodes well and well. That's an out of character. That's just that's just Koiba. Yeah. That's an out of character decision. I was gonna say, yeah. The All three right, filler anyway. episodes while I'm gone, in order, will be beach episode, where then the next the next session Jungle will be teaching Elizar not to be a dick, which will then the next <laughs> session be Elizar goes on a date with Cyril finally. <laughs> That's going to be the the arc, the oh, filler arc. Please while I'm don't gone. tell me there's going to be three episodes of in character RP because holy shit! <laughs> like I love it, but it'll, like it'll, it'll work I'm terrified. Out. Oh yeah, it'll work itself out. Um, no, there's things that terrify. You can D and D on vacation. We'll be playing the drinking I'm games dead. IRL. I can, I can, but also like I don't know how possible it's going to be right now. So yeah, just, yeah, 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 exactly. Just, just can we hire a replacement? Uh, I'll make sure that if if I know that you're missing sessions, that we'll. we'll... Yeah, we'll do like a one shot or or something. Oh no, we got, someone's we got charity, attacking the charity village. stuff to do this this month anyway. So yeah, timing yeah. wise, it's fine. Someone's we attacking the village. We'll have to stay here for a session and save. Literally it. the most important vacation of my life so far, guys. Pogo. Pogo. <laughs> All right, Pogo. Pogo. thanks for watching, everybody. Appreciate you. Have a good night uh, yeah. and uh, have a great fucking start to your week tomorrow, gamers. Peace out. Have a good night. Bye. 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 B